Welcome back to the surprisingly longer than expected uh, butterfly soup. <laughs> I don't remember this. Did we get to this point? Yeah, we just switched uh, to, I believe, Noelle's story now? What oh, is this? we did. We did. I love concerned Noelle face. <laughs> I can't read the test paper. Hmm. I'm going to go ahead and say minus three. I don't know anything. I don't understand any of this. I'm gonna fail all my hard work up to now for nothing. Wake up. <laughs> I don't think we're gonna be able to do this where we both have specific characters each every time they show up. I think we're gonna have to be more fluid this time. I'm going to be my friend. Uh, okay. My friend will be around. Okay, fine. Wake up. <laughs> what? Wake up. I can be one of them if you want me to. I mean, unless you want to sit here and listen to me talk to myself. <laughs> All right. I can, I can be one of Dia them. Dia looks very concerned. Which one do you want me to be? I had a nightmare. No, you wanted me to do this, so this is happening now. <laughs> I had a nightmare. Ugh, that was silly. It wasn't even real. Sorry. Feel better. She presents Noelle with a poorly wrapped, lumpy gift, almost as big as she is. Happy birthday! Despite Dia's best efforts, several spots of the gift aren't properly covered with the wrapping paper. Noelle can see clearly what's inside. I appreciate your kindness. I love proud-looking Dia. Yeah. Very good. May I open it here? Dia nods eagerly. Noelle unwraps the present and pretends to be shocked by its contents. It's a giant, bright green snake plush. Hell yeah! His name is Snakey. Look at how he's striped. Noelle looks. Indeed, he's striped. <laughs> He's the youngest. He has two older brothers and a sister. You bought this for me? I won him from the hammer game at the fair. Hit the hammer really hard. I chose it because he reminds me of you. Striped. <laughs> <laughs> he reminds me... He reminds her of me how? I don't even like snakes. And stuffed animals are a useless waste of space. False. And against all logic, a lump forms in Noelle's throat impossible to swallow. Noelle quickly stamps down all stupid emotions and focuses on organizing her thoughts. Thank you. He's green, soft, and at least five feet long. I will place him in my bedroom and preserve him in mint condition for as long as possible. She looks happy. A warm and fuzzy feeling swells in Noelle's chest. You're my favorite person. I think I may have developed some kind of attachment to you, too. We should go on vacation together someday. When we grow up. Would be fun. That would be fun. I would accompany you with only mild complaining. Where? Maybe England can go to diagonal. No watch as Dia's face drop as she silently goes through the five stages of grief. Remember, most of the locations in Harry Potter aren't real. <laughs> We're not really doing this, right? You are going to jump in at some point here. Just tell me which one you want me to take. No, you need to be assertive. Gosh darn. <laughs> can I at least see platform nine at the quarters? They put a plaque of it at King's Cross. I don't hop in when people are okay. talking because I'm nice. <laughs> This is a problem of your own creation. <laughs> I don't think I've created a problem here. What else do you want to see in England? All you can eat buffet. They have those here too. It's so simple to make you happy. If everyone thought like you, there'd be no wars. Dia doesn't appear to know how to respond to this, so she just looks away and smiles shyly. Dia is even more my favorite when she's not narrating. <laughs> I love it. Hmm. If we run out of things to do in England, we can always watch TV in our hotel room. No, you complain too much when things aren't scientifically correct. Like when radioactive things cause superpowers. You got so hung up on it, it's distracting. Distracting how? Distracting like... Well, watching a movie in class last week. Shut up, shut up, shut up! This is not scientific! You can't do that! That's not how nuclear physics works! No! Shut up! You can watch an educational nature documentary then, like Planet Earth. I don't like the part where the baby elephant <laughs> follows its mom's tracks the wrong way. That happens in Planet Earth? I don't know. We should rewatch Planet Earth. I think by rewatch you mean watch for the first time. I don't think I've ever you seen. Haven't seen Planet Earth. I don't think I've ever seen it while both sober and paying attention. Fair. <laughs> That's all I'm saying. <laughs> we can skip the part where the baby elephant follows its mom's tracks the wrong way. Suddenly, Dia starts climbing off the playground structure. Just remembered. 
Actually, yeah, I've been preparing to say this for the past 15 minutes. Want you to meet someone. I made a new friend yesterday. Really? Who? Min. Min? Is that a boy or a girl? Hmm. Not sure. How can you not be sure? Didn't you meet? It was hard to tell. You'll see what I mean. I will? When you become friends. Min is really nice. Gave me a seaweed sheet. I've never seen you this excited over someone before. They must be really something. Dia looks like she agrees. Couldn't tell. It was hard. But we were friends anyway. It <laughs> doesn't matter. Butterfly Soup said trans rights. Yeah. This must be him. Her. Hmm. Instead of introducing him, Dia just happily standing there in silence. <sighs> the other girl circles around Noelle, sizing her up. Three seconds when she sees the snake plushie that Dia gave her. So you're Dia's best friend. You, you giraffe. What? I'll fight you. Excuse me? There can only be one of us. So we have to duel. I'll beat <laughs> you in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Have I mentioned how much I love young Mincio? <laughs> what? No! Starting in three, two, one. I already said no! <laughs> what was that all about? What an idiot. What is Dia seeing someone that dumb? I don't understand. I'm home. What did you get on the math test? You have to say it in, in more of a gravelly, mysterious. Or it, they don't have. They don't get a portrait, so they have to have mysterious voice. I don't know how to be mysterious. What okay? did you get on the math test? You heard it here first. That's what mysterious is. <laughs> an A minus. An A minus. Why not A? Noelle's mom is cutting a column out of the Chinese newspaper. Look at this article. This boy was accepted into every single Ivy League college. He lives in Pleasanton. If he can do it, why can't you? I'm putting this on your wall to inspire you. She gets up and tapes it in Noelle's bedroom next to a poem her dad printed out. There is no success without hardship. Can I go to the park with Dia this Saturday? What for? We're taking a walk around the lake. There's also a Petco nearby. She wants to look at the fish and hamsters. Will Dia still be your friend if you say no? Yes, but I want to... Then there's no point. Oof. Now that you've already established your friendship, you should be expending the minimum amount of energy to maintain it. Otherwise, you're just wasting your limited time. Fun is an illusion. Don't be controlled by your emotions. But I'm free that Saturday. Chinese school is on break. You can use it to study for your tests at school. I already studied for them. All of them? I finished reading all my textbooks already. Twice. Did you do all the practice problems? I did all the practice problems. Take that. There's nothing that could possibly be left for me to do. I'll buy next year's textbooks so you can get started on those then. <sighs> snake! Upset Noelle curls up in bed angrily, hugging her giant snake plushie. I don't snake. want to read next year's textbook. I want to do anything but that. I want to hang out with the big <laughs> snake. Snake. Big, cuddly snake. That's how the song goes. Yeah. Fox and the grapes. A hungry fox saw a fine bunch of grapes hanging from a vine. He did his best to reach them by jumping as high as he could into the air. But it was all in vain, for they were just out of reach. So he gave up trying and walked away with an air of dignity and unconcern, remarking, I thought those grapes were ripe, but now I see they are quite sour. Reading comprehension questions. One, why doesn't the fox eat the grapes? Couldn't reach him. He couldn't reach him. Through the window, Noelle can hear someone whiffing a badminton racket outside. Hurry! It's okay. Sounds like they're playing badminton in the driveway without a net. They're probably dumb kids in the dumb kids class. Oof, Noelle, don't be like that. What does it was all in vain mean? It was a great success. <laughs> Turns to look at camera. <laughs> Turns back. Uh, it was useless. Indeed. No! Oh my god, did you see that? They're both laughing. Stupid hooligans wasting their time. Having fun? <laughs> I'm above such petty unnecess unnecessities. They'll regret it when they're working at McDonald's someday. Oof. Noelle! Don't! 
don't grow up. I know, I know it's a lot of your folks, but don't be like this. I hate sports anyway. I'm the real winner here. You're going to be really sad when you figure out what this visual novel's about. <laughs> What's the message of the story? It's easy to despise what you cannot have. Yay, we succeeded at reading comprehension. Yeet. Well, hey, Liz, what? We went we went ahead. Oh, right. It just said ninth grade. Okay, we're back. We're back. Noelle, you're up to bat. Noelle grudgingly steps up to the plate. I hate sports. Why am I here? Akarsha is pitching. She raises her eyebrows at Noelle as she winds up. <laughs> Have I mentioned how much I love Akarsha's smug face? Yeah. Just like... Very good face. I don't even know something you don't, but that won't stop me. <laughs> Wake up. Grabbers put on a little makeup? Wake up, Frenchman. You're in a coma. I am not. You are trying to confuse me and failing. Akarsha pitches the ball. Through sheer luck, Noel manages to hit the ball. Hell yeah. It pops straight up. Noel runs for first base with the agility of an old man with two broken legs. I got it. Carissa catches it in her mitt. The runner already on first base gives Noelle a strange look when she runs up to it. Noelle, you're out. Stop running. It's embarrassing. What? Why? She caught it, genius. But so? Why can't I run? How come the runner on first isn't out? The rules of this game are really incomprehensible. It's okay. Nice try. I don't need praise for failing. I'm not stupid. Noelle grabs her mitt and joins Dee and the others on the field. Taking turns batting. Everyone who isn't a batter or runner is defending on the field. I feel so odd to be doing this. I keep half expecting someone to holler at me to get off. Suddenly, Dia swerves back to avoid a bee flying at her face. Did that bee <laughs> just try to sting you? Come back here, you bitch bee coward. I'm gonna fuck you up. Have we established that Min just wears bandages on her face for the aesthetic? Probably. Is that, is that, is that canon? I think that's canon. Min moves indignantly between Dia and the bee. <sighs> She's trying to protect Dia from the bee. Min throws a punch at the offending bee. <laughs> Just suddenly watching a few, a few fruitless swings, Dia takes off her hat and strikes the bee in midair with the bill of her cap. It falls to the ground dead. Min beams at her with pure adoration in her eyes. When did you move back? About two weeks ago. Wow, if we had any classes together, we'd have crossed paths way sooner. Does Junseo go here now, too? No, he's at a different school. He goes to Niles. That's an easier, less Asian school. Why would your parents put you in different schools? They didn't. I originally went there too, but I got expelled. Expelled? How was Florida? You're not going to ask about the expel part? No, Dia's very efficient at a conversation. <laughs> <laughs> Horrible. They don't have boba places there. I had to drink milkshakes. Boba? Is that bubble tea? Oh, that's what, oh, bubble tea. That is unfortunate. What the, that's crazy. And everyone was white. That's also true. Are white people that bad? Yes. They do shit like pull their eyes into slits and go... You don't have to yeah. finish reading that if you don't want to. I feel like I feel, it's not my place to... I feel like we've already... Uh, the caucasity of it all. Mm -hmm. Or go back to China. I'm not even Chinese. I had to get so good at beating people up. I approve of that. What the heck? That sounds like a cartoon. I thought racism was over. Me too. We had a black president and everything. Therefore, racism is done. That's absolutely how that works, Indeed. right? But they showed us that cartoon every year in class where they time travel to when there's segregation. What happened? Beats me. The next batter strikes out. Liz, who's acting like the catcher, returns the ball to Akarsha. Akarsha fumbles it and drops it on the mound. Everyone watches disapprovingly as she scrambles to pick it back up. That was an illusion. A trick of the light. No, we clearly saw you mess up. It's Dia's turn up. <laughs> I really love how happy, like, happy Dia face. It's just like, mm, yep, this is how it's meant to be. <laughs> it's Dia's turn at bat now. Dia hits the pitch with a downright scary amount of force. <laughs> The ball shoots over everyone's heads and lands in a tree in the distance, causing several startled cows to flap out. Cows? Yes, cows. <laughs> there are cows now. There have always been cows in this scene. Why are you just now remarking on the fact that they are only now being remarked on? 
I don't believe cows have been remarked on yet at all. That's what I just said. Regardless. In so many words. Yeah, wait, wait, wait. Ugh, I don't know what she's doing. Yeah! <laughs> what have you got there? A knife! Two, <laughs> two knife! <laughs> no! I'm method acting. Let the record show. She Wait, no, no, no. If you're gonna method act, you have to realize men had to leave her knives in the locker room. Go put the. No, don't put them down on the. Now I have to wash those. Those were clean knives. Why couldn't you have done that with the dirty knives? <laughs> now that's more. That's more dishes for no reason. None of us wants to do dishes. <laughs> dishes suck. <laughs> Why? I can't believe you've done that. <laughs> Why? Method. Acting. God damn it. If I'm going to play men, I need knives. But you don't have knives in this scene. But I will soon. No, you... Anyway. anyway someone send help, please. <laughs> I, just help, please. Yeah, I could use help. <laughs> Boy. <laughs> Whose side are you on? We're supposed to be on defense. Okay, but you have to admit that was sick. Nice one, Dia. Mm. Dia approval face. <laughs> Just slap that face on everything and it instantly becomes better. It's Min's turn at the plate now. She immediately grabs the heaviest bat they have. <clears throat> Min Sio, are you sure you want to use that bat? We have other bats that are closer to your... This one is fine. She hasn't even tried the other ones. But in general, people of your side should use the 31 inch. No, I'm not some weakling. On the mound, a car shot paces back and forth. The men squares up in the batter's box. <clears throat> Are you trying to psych me out? I bet you can't eat five crayons. Oh, yeah, I bet I can. Wait, sorry, that was you. <laughs> no eating crayons while the club is in session, please. Actually, no, well, how about you try pitching now? It's been a while since we switched. Me? Noel switches place with the car shot on the mound. Bring it, you weak... No, that's your line again. I'm sorry. Bring it, you weak bitch. What are you insulting me for? We're on the same side now. No, we're not. What the heck are you talking about? Don't baseball pitchers pitch their own team? No. Everyone is shooting Noel appalled looks. No, you pitch against the enemy. It's the pitcher's goal not to let the batter get on base. Oh, I see. So that's why they pitch at such high velocity. So it's harder for the batter to hit a touchdown. Noel, have you ever watched a baseball game before? Can you even name a single baseball team? Uh, the Oakland A's. The A's. Krista looks immensely relieved. Bravo, if you'd failed that, I probably would have started crying. Because it's their local baseball team. Not their local football team, the 49ers. Or I didn't recognize the first one, the Sharks. Yeah, I don't know what I don't know what the sharks are. Is that is that a hockey? Is that a is that a soccer? It's a mystery. That we'll never know. Min squares up in the batter's box. You gotta time it just right for these QTEs. What? Yeah. You gotta true. time it just right. No. Not gotcha. <laughs> you gotcha. Oh! Noel throws the ball with all her might. Plops back down into the grass, not even halfway to Min. The hell was that? That throw was so soft. Nobody order ice cream, Noel. Get it together. All right, I get it. Guess we'll count that as a ball. What? You didn't throw it through the strike zone. If you miss, it's a ball. If you throw four balls before the batter strikes out, the batter gets to go to first base for free. Where is the strike zone exactly? <laughs> this strike zone starts at the midpoint between the top of the batter's shoulders and the top of their pants. Bottom line is that the hollow beneath the kneecap. What happens if you're wearing a skirt? Does it default to the nearest <laughs> pair of pants you own? You have to be wearing proper uniform pants to play official games. There's rules about that. If we want to throw the game but in a subtle way, all we have to do is pull our pants up really high. Like up to our armpits. That's not subtle at all! Assuming we play this the regular way, don't short people just naturally have smaller batting zones? Since their bodies are smaller. Yeah, it makes more precision to strike them out. By the way, the measurements are based on the batter's stance, not while they're standing straight up. Knowing that, can't we just reduce the batting zone's volume to zero by squatting down? That way, any pitch they throw becomes the ball. I 
I don't know if there's a rule against that, but if you do anything too weird, it would be considered poor, poor sportsmanship. Spore sportsmanship. Yes. There we go. Feels like the other people aren't playing fair. It won't be fun anymore. The umpire will probably stop you too. Whenever something's not explicitly outlined in the rules, it's his call. Okay, are we done explaining now? Can we play baseball? Sure. I think we've covered all the bases. Ha ha! Ah, ah, ah! Ha! Get it? <laughs> Laugh politely. Ha! Ha! Krista seems delighted that Noelle was laughing at her joke. <laughs> and then three music notes come out, and your social link goes up a little bit. Hell yeah. We had to make it Krista tall clear. <laughs> I better pitch the ball before she says more. Noelle hurls the ball with all her might. It plops down on the grass in the exact same spot as last time. Dia raises her hand and looks at Krista expectantly, like she's waiting to be called on. That is what Dia would do. Yes, you could you could just talk, you don't have to do that. Noelle doesn't have enough upper body strength to throw it that far. That's a problem. No matter what position she plays, she's gonna have to throw the, it that far at some point. Well, good thing I'm not joining this stupid club then. Problem solved. Alright, whatever, I'll pitch for now. <laughs> Noel hands the ball over to Krista and joins Akarsha and Dia back on the field. As Noel jogs up to them, Akarsha plucks a dandelion from the grass and presents it to her. If you were a flower, you'd be a damned lion. This is literally a weed. Akarsha tries to blow the dandelion seeds into Noel's eyes. Stop that! Min smacks Krista's pitch into the ground and takes off running. Dia tears after it with the look of a dog chasing a squirrel. She scoops it up and throws it to Akarsha, who's manning first base now. I got it! I got it! Akarsha tries to catch it, but ends up knocking the ball away with the tip of her glove. Akarsha, you need to work on your catches. Huh? Why? You dropped the ball. What? That wasn't me. That was totally you. Everyone saw. Incredible. That must be my lookalike from another dimension. Meanwhile, Min's still running around all the ways because no one stopped her yet. You briefly glimpsed a parallel universe when Akarsha didn't catch the ball. But now you've crossed over back over to the reality where I did catch it. That explains the memory discrepancy. It's the only logical explanation. I call it reading Steiner. <laughs> God damn it, don't cross this over with Sasuke. Or you messed up and just won't admit it. Min manages to round the base of the score thanks to Akarsha's mistake. <laughs> yes, I told you. I told you that was exactly what was going to happen. Akarsha, you're up to bat. I'm ready. ready. Yeah. Akarsha twirls the bat behind her back, squats down for no reason, hops up several times like a frog before springing back up in a dramatic pose. Is she going to do that every single time she goes up to bat? Knowing her? Yes. <laughs> My signature. You don't need a signature. Watch out. Huh? Karsha better the ball straight at Noelle. Noelle flares her arm in a panic attempt to catch the ball. She misses it! Krista rushes in front of Noelle and catches the ball. Um, thanks. No problem! <laughs> Oops. That was... Ghost. It wasn't a ghost! <laughs> it's Min's turn to pitch now. Krista hands the ball over to her and heads over to the plate to blat. To bat, to blat, to blip. To blave. Blaze ball blat. Stop making fun of me. Whenever you're ready. The fielders are all backing up. Chris is even taller than Diaz, so she looks like she could hit it pretty far. Min clutches the ball in a claw like grip. She brings an arm back and then forward, hard over the top, and let's go. Ball approaches the plate, does a little hop like a hiccup. Chris looks weirded out. She doesn't swing. Let's talk about that what the fuck is wrong with you t shirt. That's awesome. <laughs> That's an amazing. The flutter is just enough to throw Liz off. The ball glances off the side of her glove and bounces off her kneecap. What the? It's kind of creepy, isn't it? Seeing the ball coming at you without spinning? Yeah, it was just like floating at me. I couldn't tell the difference. Looked normal to me. Liz returns the ball to Min. Min clutches it in the same messed up looking grip, rears up and lets another pitch go. Chris misses it by a foot. It's a pitch you couldn't hit with a tennis racket. This is swinging to a weird angle to stop the ball in the dirt. A knuckleball, huh? Oh, it comes back. Hey, see? What's that? 
How hot is it? <laughs> it's a rare pitch thrown with nearly no spin, so the path is unpredictable. Oh, I get it. You're making this up as an excuse for why you missed. I'm not making it up. It operates on the same principle as a float serve in volleyball. Or knuckleball in soccer, if you know that. No, I don't know either of those. Okay, so when you pitch a ball normally, it spins like crazy. Somewhere around 10 times on the way to the plate. Spin is what gives a ball stability as it moves. If you can learn to throw a ball with minimal spin, spin stability will give it an unpredictable trajectory if it starts behaving like a chaotic system like the weather. And that's great because a lot of sports mastery is just recognizing situations. Everyone says to keep your eye on the ball, but it's actually impossible to do that due to the limitations of human reaction. What good hitters actually do is anticipate the ball's flight path based on cues they recognize for being in similar situations before in the past. In other words, they don't see the ball, they just guess its trajectory. Ah! <laughs> But they can't do that against the knuckleball. That's right, a knuckle trajectory is drastically different each time it's pitched, so no matter how good you are, there's no way to reliably hit it. So in order to correctly move so erratically that it's possible to hit except through sheer luck. I still <laughs> can't tell. Would you stop? I just have to average out the words per minute here. Okay. <laughs> I still can't tell if you're making this all up as an excuse for why you suck. No, it's real. I love a proving Liz face. Everybody has a good face in they this do. game. Because this is a good game for good people. It is. I love it. But you couldn't catch it, so it's also a convenient excuse for you. And if it is real, then why doesn't everyone use it? it sounds practically game-breaking. Well, for one, knuckleball's one of the hardest pitches to throw in baseball. Not the hardest. Put a little too much spin on the ball and throw it just a little too fast, and you're basically serving up a meaty practice pitch that'll get hit out of the park. Even as best knuckler is the doubler and sword, batters can't hit it, but it also means pitchers can't control it, and catchers can't catch it. And thrown right, even Min has no idea where it's going. Say, throwing a knuckleball for a strike is like throwing a butterfly into a mailbox across the street. Even in the big leagues, catchers hate it. If I like it past me, it could lead to the batter or runner on base advancing. The knuckleballer pitching, the catcher has to focus so hard on stopping it that runners on base will have an easier time stealing. It's a big pain. Basically, it's hard to throw right, it's hard to control even when you do throw right, and it's punishing if you miss. Pretty much. No one trusts it. Knuckleball's the pitch of someone with nothing left to lose. And that's us! You can try things that no catch on the right way at whatever risk, because no one expects anything from us. So might as well take advantage of that, right? If you don't win a single game, at least we'll have fun. Fun? What kind of nonsense is this? Fun. Chris strikes out. The ball ricochets off Liz's mitt and catches her bare hand, striking her thumb as a painful-looking angle. Ow! Okay, time out. They look pretty painful. His thumb turned to a swollen purple. Are you okay? I'll live. Min, is this all you know how to throw? I can throw fastballs too, but they're not that fast. So knuckleball is kind of my specialty. I used to watch videotapes of Tim Wakefield pitching on TV over and over again and copied that. It's the only pitch I really practiced. That's so smart, honey. All you just go on an off-speed pitch knowing that you won't don't have the muscle to throw fast. Did your coach suggest it? Uh, no, I didn't have one. No one taught me anything. I taught myself. Huh? Then what made you decide to specialize as knuckler? I chose it because, uh, it's hard to catch. So Dia has to be the one to catch it, since it'll hurt everyone else. What kind of reason is that? She's so stupid, she unknowingly ended up <laughs> doing something smart. Wow. Y yeah. I... All right. I mean, what do you mean by Dia having to catch it? D is immune to it because she's special. I'm pretty sure that's not how it works. Dia has been standing by hopefully for five minutes now, looking like she wants to say something. I know that <laughs> feeling. Imagine Dia just like. It's like slowly building up more and more vibration as she stands still. It's like me at work every time I need to convey some important information to someone. Right? Dia, would you like to try catching in my place? Mm, yes! Dia nods furiously. <laughs> Oh my god, Dia is absolutely my favorite. Then that settles it. Let's switch. Once Dia's strapped on all the gear, Min throws it again. Dia caught it. Oh my god, Catcher, Catcher Hell Dia yeah. just does not have time for any of your bullshit. <laughs> what? Sounds like Fox falling off the stage in Super Smash Bros. <laughs> Wait, hold on. I know, I don't know what that sound is off the top of my head. I knew it. Crystal was making it up. I'm never believing your lies again. We weren't lying. Dia just caught it again. See? Dia is amazing. Okay, that has to be a flute. Calm down. Are you the one who needs to calm down? Managed to relieve another hitter together. Karsha's up next. 
I feel relieved. <laughs> Me too. On her way to the plate, she tries to do the splits, fails, and sheepishly crawls back to her feet. That was my plan all along. I'm playing four-dimensional chess. God, I can't stand her. I want to push her off a cliff. But a shallow one so she doesn't get hurt, just to scare her. <laughs> 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 I love how Noelle has become really vengeful, but like the incredibly polite kind of vengeful, which is even worse in some ways. <laughs> Because she knows exactly how far she's willing to go, and will bring you right the heck up to that line. <laughs> Min winds up and throws another knuckler. Fears wildly up to the sky. Without hesitation, Dia raises out of her crouch and gloves it. What? That would have been a ball, but still. Really? That's surprising? Dia's always been good at sports. Be more shocked if she failed. No, but you don't understand. This goes beyond being good at sports. It's literally impossible. Crash swings missed for a third time. She is struck out. Uh, that was performance art. You can't make these excuses every time you mess up. <laughs> Once the minute of relief, the entire roster lids clap their hands together to get their attention. All right, everyone, let's end the meeting for today. What already? Yeah, it's been like two hours. Huh? See, time flies when you're having fun. I wasn't having fun. I must have been so miserable that my mind would parts my memory out. <laughs> let's head back inside. Dia, I'll race you. Demon tear off at top speed. <laughs> I love Dia even more that she's not the POV now because now we just uh, um, the only times we see her when she's reacting to something or after she's been waiting patiently for like five minutes, <laughs> and every time she's like, uh, 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 uh. <laughs> the others begin handing up pill as well at a deliberately more reasonable pace. I haven't seen Dia this happy since the time the vending machine malfunctioned and gave her two Kit Kat bars instead of one. Noelle subtly tries to regulate her breathing rate so no one knows she's getting winded walking uphill. Hey, Noelle. Uh, thanks for putting up with us today. Sorry we sort of forced you to play. It wasn't the worst. I may find it in to forgive- I may find it in me to forgive you someday. Yeah, you did good. You did terrible. Okay, you did terrible. But you tried your best and that's what matters. Not like everyone can beat Dia. Don't worry so much and just have fun. It's not a competition. Right. Chris pats Noelle in the head. Don't touch me. We really appreciate you pitching in. I regret encouraging this. I, I regret am encouraging so this. I'm so happy. Noelle tries to escape. She takes one step, slips on the muddy grass, and falls on her butt. Noelle! What are you doing, Noelle? Trying to win America's Funniest Stone video? <clears throat> Chris, you pull her up. My hands are full. No! Noelle scrambles to her feet and follows the others up the bank as quickly as she can. Not very quick. <laughs> Hey, wait, Noelle! Be nice to me to trick me into joining the club. I won't fall for it, unlike some people have control over my emotions. Just ignore her. Fuck! What was that? Nina's picking herself up off the ground. There's a min shaped dust imprint on the door now. Are you okay? The door was locked! Probably should have checked before ramming straight into it. Don't tell me what to do. Looks like we'll have to wait for Krista and Liz to unlock it. Min pulls a lighter out of her pocket and lights a cigarette. Are you serious? That's illegal. What the goddamn hell is your damage? I can't do anything without you calling it illegal. <laughs> because it is illegal. Even if it wasn't, what kind of idiot are you? Didn't you learn about the health effects of tobacco in school? It's just a bunch of statistics. Plenty of people smoke and don't die. Uh, Min? What, you think you're better than the laws of probability? Yeah, I am. Oh. Go ahead and remove yourself from the gene pool, then. I don't care. Hey, Mitt. Can I try smoking it? <sighs> what? Have you lost your mind? Come on. Aren't you curious? It's not like I'll get addicted just from one smoke. Min holds out the cigarette for Akarsha. Here. Don't mind if I do. No! <laughs> Noel bats the cigarette out of Akarsha's hands. Lands in some dry pine needles and bursts into flames. Oh, shit. <gasps> oh, shit, Dia face. Ah! ah! Frenchman, what have you done? Shut up! Smokey <laughs> the Bear is crying right now. Only you can prevent <laughs> forest fires. Well, shit. What do we do now? Pee on it! Are you stupid? Stop, drop, and roll! You don't do that unless you're already on fire! Head on! Apply directly <laughs> to the forehead! This isn't helping! Silence flows over the group as they hear approaching footsteps on the other side of the wood divider. Sounds like Chris and Liz are slowly getting closer to the locker room. 
Hey, what are you guys screaming about? Nothing's wrong, so don't come in here. Is everything okay? Everything is fine! Where's the nearest fire extinguisher? Footsteps follows for a brief stunned moment before resuming with dramatically increased speed and urgency. Crap, we need to fix this. We should smother it so someone use their jacket. What if the jacket gets burnt? This is my favorite jacket, ma'am. Same. Okay, who likes her jacket the least? Me. Dia rips, strips off her hoodie. Min watched with extreme interest, but looks incredibly disappointed when she sees Dia is wearing a shirt underneath. <laughs> Karsha throws the jacket over the fire and stomps on it. Okay, I think we extinguished it. Teamwork. Dia picks up her jacket and shakes it out. Other than mud prints from Karsha flip-flops, it looks no worse for wear. I can't believe Frenchman snapped and tried to commit arson. That's not what happened. Chris and Liz are here. What's that burnt smell? <sighs> Who did it? It was... Jerry. We're, inviting a, we're inventing a person now. Who the hell is Jerry? He's a guy. Black hair. Right, we all saw him. He did it. Dia nods helpfully. <laughs> 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 What a day. Somehow blended up playing baseball, got patted by some random upperclassman, was interrogated over arson, questioned us all separately, and our accounts of Jerry fell apart. <laughs> yeah, they all made us do push-ups as a punishment. I'm exhausted. I'm home. What did you get on the math test? An A. An A? Why not A plus? Noel's mom is cutting a column out of the Chinese newspaper. Look at this article. A CEO sold his company for over a billion dollars and donated 200 million to UC Berkeley. He's building at Berkeley named after him now. He's an American-born Chinese, just like you. If he can do it, why can't you? I'm putting this on your wall to inspire you. <sighs> she gets up and tapes it in Noelle's bedroom next to the shelf gleaming with Noelle's math com com competition trophies. She sells the snake! 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 <laughs> Snake! Dude, Dude, what the fuck did I miss in elementary school? According to Min, basically, she's your childhood arch nemesis. Arch nemesis. One of those two <laughs> pronunciations. And Dia's ex? The arch nemesis part is accurate, but she's not Dia's ex. That's ridiculous. Okay, she didn't use those exact words, but pretty much? That's impossible. They're both girls. So? What do you mean, so? I can't believe you have an arch nemesis. <laughs> I didn't even know people had those in real life. I like how that's what the objection is. <laughs> hey, we're back. My bad. Can't believe... Yeah, that's you. Sorry. What? From uh, We did that one. Oh, oh no. wait. How is this going to work? Sorry. I don't understand what you're asking. Please reword the question. What are you going to do about Min? Nothing. She doesn't pose me any threat. Do you made a promise not to hurt me before, so she's strictly limited to insulting and threatening me. All bark and no bite, so to speak. I'm actually probably the safest person in the school. Was the only one as a, the only one with this kind of immunity. I'll just try my best to avoid her. What? She's friends with both Dia and me now. You gotta figure out how to deal with her sooner or later. No, I don't. My strategy has worked flawlessly all the way through elementary school. There's no reason to change it now. Your strategy? The maybe if I ignore the problem, it'll go away strategy? I don't really have a choice. You don't understand how stupid she really is. She's not just pretending to be dumb like you. She's dumb for real. She once carved her name to a desk and couldn't figure out how they caught her. Mm. Wait, hold up. Wait, I got it. Join the baseball club. What? Why? How does that solve anything? It doesn't. But trust me, it always works in the movies. Whenever two characters hate each other, if they end up in a situation where they're forced to work together, they come out of it as BFFs. More realistically, they go from enemies to worst enemies. No, I'm calling it right now. We're going to miraculously set our differences aside and work as a team. Someone's aware that they're in a visual novel. <laughs> <laughs> Is that a Karsha superpower breaking the fourth wall? Yes. Also, we win by one. Come on, Frenchman. One of us. One <laughs> of us. No! Yes. <laughs> Leave the Eiffel Tower behind. Stop telling me. <laughs> I live inside the Eiffel Tower. Make your dreams into reality. This isn't my dream. Then what is? Doesn't it bother you that everyone else our age gets to have fun? Like, bruh, where's my complicated relationship drama? Where's my reckless teen adventures? 
Don't you feel like you're missing out, sitting at home alone all the time? No, because it'll pay off in the future. But your youth is irreplaceable. Noel was invited to the baseball club group chat. I'll just take a quick look, then quit. That's it. Chat time. She still has the snack. Snakey. Snake. Noel's entered the chat room. <gasps> what? Even in... Even... <laughs> Even online, she's just all. <gasps> ah. Hello. WTF, mate. Why are you all here? What are you gonna do? Use a, a parabola to calculate how to throw the ball? Parabola. Shut the fuck out. You long green bean. <laughs> green bean? Shut the fuck out. Oh, you stupid overachieving Asian fob loser stereotype. <laughs> overachieving. Big words for someone who will be attending community college and working at McDonald's. Oof. Guys, come on. Don't be like this. Become BFFs. Look how much you have in common. Asian. Full of anger. And you both like Dia. Dia Silence Judge. <laughs> <laughs> Let's all sing the Barney song. I love you. You love me. We're a happy family. Myth has changed the group chat name to fuck you know how. I don't like this group chat name. Suck it. No, I'll change the group chat name to the baseball club. Let me change the group chat name to fuck you know well. Stop this. No, let's change the group chat name to baseball club. Let's change the group chat name to fuck you, Noel. Guys, guys, this is so immature. How about a compromise? Hmm? hmm? What sort of compromise? <laughs> Yaoi Sime has changed this group chat name to baseball club. Thank you. WTF, mate. How is this a compromise? <laughs> it didn't get anything. Yaoi Sime has changed her name to Noel Fucker69. <laughs> <laughs> Nice. Up top. I take it back. This is <laughs> Change it back. <laughs> Humankind cannot gain anything without first giving something in return. To obtain something of equal value must be lost. That is alchemy's first law of equivalent exchange. In those days, we really believed that to be the world's one and only truth. I hate you! Uh, I'm crying. You made me cry. If you don't change it, I'm not going to be a partner for school projects anymore. Uh, you all fucker, 69, change your name to Yaoi Semi. Darn. It was good while it lasted. I wonder if there's anything else left to figure out about baseball that no one else has yet. Like other strategies that make us statistically more likely to win? Or weird other loopholes. Can we release multiple <laughs> balls into the air to confuse our opponents? No, but you can fake like you have the ball. <laughs> I think that would just confuse us too. What about advantages for batting? What if instead of bats, we brought those yaoi paddles? What? Yeah, I'm not sure either. What is a yaoi paddle? It's a mystery. Uh, oh no, no, this is important. I need to know this. <clears throat> yaoi... Pa no, no. Stupid fat. You forgot pot. to say okay, Google. I... Okay, I'm not Google, going to... Yaoi paddle. That, that doesn't work. It does. Oh, what? They're literally just huge-ass paddles. Like, you'd row with? Interesting. This is confusing. Uh, and this one say Yaoi and Seme. Interesting. Interesting. Canoe-like paddles with Yaoi or similar fr similar phrases written on them. Yeah, that is what that picture contains in it. Okay. All right. I don't know what else I expected. Oh, hey. It <laughs> was going to come up organically. Oh, damn it. What the fuck is a Yaoi paddle? Google it. See, no, we it wasn't. Did. In any case, they have rules about what kinds of bats you can use. Dude, this just gave me a great idea. I'm Albert Einstein. <laughs> yeah, we time to Albert Einstein. <laughs> oh my god! 
Okay, I want to point out, I have not laughed this hard playing a visual novel in so fucking long. This Holy is incredible. I love this, this game. This game keeps on giving. Holy shit. Was. Was that your idea? Are you Dia now? I'm Dia now because you were three of them and I was one and I felt sad. Okay. No, that's not it. It <laughs> was just my reward for being a genius. <laughs> what if you break a bat in half <laughs> and dual wield one half in each hand... I don't think there would be any advantage doing this. We gotta try it to know for sure. For science. There's rules about damaged bats. They break the remove from play without penalty. No! M my plan is crumbling to pieces. Your plan was in pieces from the start. Rude. My backup plan is we could secretly replace Dia's bones with synthetic ones. <laughs> I don't like this plan. What about... Nano machines, son. <laughs> I don't want nano machines, comma son. Nano machines, comma son, are not at a level where you can use them yet. It's still a theoretical field. What? I thought they made nano cars already with wheels and everything. Just a moment, I'm googling it. I don't want nano cars. <laughs> I like ideas of Doge. Yeah. The Wikipedia page says the nano cars don't even have motors. They just have four wheels attached to an empty frame. They don't do anything. <laughs> then why the hell did they even create them? I don't know. They'd just be floating around pointlessly inside Dia. For purposes, gene therapy would be more practical. Technology is already used to make meat to treat muscle wasting disorders. Could use it to change Dia's gene expression and increase the production of proteins to make her stronger. It would be totally undetectable by drug tests. OMFG. They don't want gene therapy. It'd be like doping, but with your genes. Gene doping. Has anyone done this yet? I wouldn't know. I'm looking it up and dude, no one's ever done it. There aren't any regulations on it yet. I bet all the baseball people don't even know what it is. You could be a gene doping pioneer. You haven't even been here 10 minutes yet and you're already destroying baseball. I don't think this is the way we're supposed to do it. <laughs> Guys, OMG. I looked up <laughs> cyborg on Wikipedia and I found there's a man. He... <laughs> what the fuck? Since 2004, British artist Neil Harbison has a cyborg antenna implanted in his head that allows him to expand his perception of colors beyond the human visual spectrum through vibrations in his skull. Lamo. His antenna was included within his 2004 passport photograph which has been claimed to confirm his cyborg status. This is great. The claim to confirm, to confirm his cyborg status makes him sound so desperate. Right? Plus the design is ridiculously unfashionable. You normally accept, expect cyborgs to look cool and futuristic. But instead... <laughs> <laughs> gestures at game screen. <laughs> it's even better when you remember this from 2004. OMFG. The black and white makes you think... This is from the Great Depression or something. But it's actually just some weirdo with a really bad haircut. It looks like he's planning to dangle a carrot on a string from the front. <laughs> like a donkey. Shut up, I'm losing it. It's only been four years. Not only is he still alive, but his current appearance is probably relatively unchanged. This man is still out here, existing in the same world as we do, looking like this as we speak. Good. Whenever you're feeling down about your looks, remember. <laughs> <laughs> that. That boy. Stop! <laughs> Why are you smiling? Are you talking to a boy? No boyfriend until college. Noelle almost falls out of her chair in shock. I didn't hear her come in! Noelle switches to a more academic tab she kept open, but not before her mom sees. You always change the screen when I come in. What are you hiding? Her mom grabs the mouse and clicks on the incriminating tab. You're wasting time. Do your homework. Mother scans the names of the screen and jabs a finger at Albert Einstein. Who's that? That's Akarsha. She's the other smart girl in my grade. The one who almost beat you on the midterm. Yes. Don't forget that everyone is your competition. She's tricking you into thinking she doesn't study when really she does. Every minute you spend doing useless things is a minute she's beating you. She's not tricking me. We're friends. 
Friends, don't be naive. When she gets into MIT and you don't, you think she'll care. If you were really in trouble, would she do anything to help you? Of course not. When it comes down to it, nobody will look out for you. The only people you can really trust are your family. You don't know anything. Don't talk about my friends like they mean nothing. Do you know anything about me? What's my worst fear? What's my favorite documentary series? You would know these things if you had any care for me beyond how good I make you look to our relatives. You ungrateful child. The whole reason we came to America is so you could live a better life. We made so many sacrifices for you. How dare you say we don't care about you? You've been spoiled rotten. You have an attitude problem. Kiss these days. When your dad comes home, we're going to have a long talk about this. Noelle's mom closes the tab. She hovers over her shoulder for a few more minutes to verify that Noelle's doing work. Don't you have anything better to do? Well, that's right, you don't. Because you have no friends or hobbies and live vicariously through me. Still looking through her, her mom finally leaves. Upset <sighs> Noelle curls up in bed angrily, hugging her giant snake plushie. Snack. Snake. You can hug me. You can, yeah. you can pretend I'm your giant snake plushie. Okay. Noel has entered the chat room. <gasps> eh. Uh huh. Yuck, why'd you come back? Are you still deciding whether to join or something? No, I have decided. I'm in. Hell yeah! yeah! Baseball club. Thank you, baseball. Hey, we get to be a Karsha now. A Karsha time. Yeah! Come on, grab your friends. Yeah. You don't have to grab me. You can if you yeah. want to, though. Okay. Hey, I'm here. Hello? Dia? Homie? Dia is crawling on her hands and knees in the bushes. What are you doing? Caught him. Dia emerges from the bush with a caterpillar in her hands. It's fat and striped. Ew. Dia turns to face her. Because she's deaf in one ear, when she stands up straight, she actually faces slightly to the right. Don't be rude. We should give him a name. <laughs> yes. <laughs> There's so many layers in this one. <laughs> Miles Tails Edgeworth. What kind of a name is that? <laughs> it's a character from the Ace Attorney games. It's hella gay. You should play it. You say that like I'd be interested just because it's gay? You're not? Good gay stuff is hard to come by. Hmm. Dia scrutinizes Miles Tails Edgeworth <laughs> as he inches across her palm. You're so invested in these kinds of things. Video games and stuff. They're a form of escapism. I need obsessions to distract me from the crushing emptiness and hopelessness of life. Hmm. Just kidding. Ha <laughs> ha. Dia scoops the caterpillar into her other hand. Did you hear the news? Obama won. Yes, we can. Yeah, but they outlawed gay marriage. They did? Prop 8 passed. I thought we were better than that. You shouldn't be surprised. There were a lot of yellow-wearing guys. Don't even ask my parents what they voted. I know. But the thing is, it used to be legal. We used to be better. It's not just that the world sucks. The world sucks and it's getting worse. Obama, though. Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Dia's trying very hard, okay? Miles Tails Hedgeworth is crawling up Dia's arm now. Gross. That's so shallow. He has a good heart. Don't yellow and black stripes normally mean it's poisonous? Caterpillars are only poisonous if you eat them. I've tried. <laughs> Not dangerous if you're nice. Dia carefully returns the caterpillar to a tree plant. To a tree plant, but... <sighs> I give up. Nope. No more L's and R's for me. <laughs> nope. Nope. I, 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 I can't say tree my line. Tree branch. Okay. There we are. I can say my line. Ready to go? Dia nods. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Akarsha. Yeah. Hmm. Never mind. What the? Ominous. We went ahead and got changed. It feels like we're a real team now wearing the same uniform. So now I'm curious, are there like four different versions of each of these scenes? What do you mean? So like that bit where we were playing uh, Dia in the beginning, could we have played through the be like the intro bit as men? I don't know. Or as no, like, like, cause it, 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 it show like when it switches characters, it looks like it's doing a roulette thing. Is that just for show? That's or what I it... would guess. Because okay. it would be extremely hard to make it work the other way, but it would be cool if someone did. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So I'm reading too much into that aesthetic. Okay. We've still got some time to kill before the meeting starts. Who are we talking to? Oh. Dia looks like she had something to say to us. Yeah. 
Diaz on the bench, resting her head on Min's shoulder. She's showing Min a picture of a seagull on her cell phone. One side of the photo was blurry brown from Diaz's thumb partially obscuring the camera lens. Look how close I got to this seagull. That's pretty close. <laughs> you okay? Sorry, it just reminds me a lot of you. <laughs> Which one? Both. <laughs> <laughs> Look at this very good... Uh, here, this is you. Look at this very good picture of a crab. That is me. That is very close. That is very good. That crab... <laughs> What's up, Min? Min has a textbook in her lap. She's flipping it to a chapter review page. Are you doing your homework? That's weirdly studious of you. I told my parents I joined a tutoring club. Oh, lol. Funny. So did I. What? What do you need tutoring for? I told them I was the tutor. That's perfect. You can tutor men, then. Match made in heaven. Match made in hell. hell. I don't want her help. She says it, though. She's staring down at the page with a desolate expression. Math should just... Die. die. Stop. Put down the knife. <laughs> Why? It's a discipline full of beautiful and complex patterns. There's absolutely nothing inherently bad or oppressive about it, yet people treat it like it's evil and malicious. A lot of pure math lacks any kind of practical application and merely exists for the sake of stimulating people's minds and pushing the limits of the medium as far as is possible. Much like a form of art. Can't relate. Shut the fuck up. Dude, let me see it. I'll help you. Oh, so, no, I'm sorry, but that was your only line. Problem one. Bill can paint a house in five hours, and Mary can paint a house in three hours. How long will it take them to paint a house together? What are you looking at me for? Because that was the end of oh, right. the thing. And you have the mouse. Eight hours. Five plus three is eight. <sighs> hmm. <laughs> are you going to be okay at this school? The wall is solving a professor's cube. Unlike a leg... A reg... God damn it. Unlike a regular Rubik's Cube, it is 5x5x5 five by five by five instead of 3x3x3. Three by three by three. Dia's face lights up when she spots it. Solved one for you already. Took me two hours. Dia proudly points at the cube. Indeed, one face is solid red. I see. Pretty I'm... sure that doesn't help at all. <laughs> sure enough, Noel completely obliterates Dia's work in order to solve the cube correctly. Wow, you make it look easy. I'm sorry, I keep taking your lines. Did I help? Of course, I appreciate it. Yay. Life is so hard. Any words of wisdom, Dia? Hmm. Snowflakes are actually really, really small. Not like you would think from Christmas decorations. Uh, how big did you think they were? Like the size of a plate. Wow, you must have been crazy disappointed when you discovered the truth. Any other advice? Hmm. You can make Nutella sandwiches and eat them. That's excellent advice! If you do this three times a day, you'll have three meals for like a dollar fifty. Thanks. <laughs> do you got anything else for us? I come seeking more knowledge, wise one. Hmm. Putting whipped cream on rice is a bad idea. Are you speaking from personal experience? Tried it once. Why? Thought it tastes like sticky rice, but it was bad. Amazing. <laughs> Would you kiss a girl for one million dollars? I guess. I don't have that kind of money, though. <laughs> <laughs> what? No, I'm saying you get paid. Huh? Never mind. The locker room door creaks open. When Noel sees Chris and Liz come through, she lifts her hand away but aborts halfway through the motion. Scowling, she jerks the offending appendage back down like her hand had already gone and betrayed the rest of her body. Hmm. What? Nothing. Hey guys, we have a few announcements to make. First of all, Minseo, you need to resubmit your parental permission form for the club. And this time, please have a real parental guardian sign it. I don't know what you're talking about. She forged it? How can you tell? <laughs> the signature was just the word mom in cursive. Fuck. 
Min is running away. Krista gets up and chases after her. There's nowhere to run! You dumb kid! It sounds an awful like Min ran into the door again. <laughs> Everyone else's forms look fine, though. So good job, guys. If you forged it, too, I couldn't tell. Phew. <laughs> Everyone forged it. Krista has returned, dragging a defeated Min behind her. Next up, we're playing against an actual team today. What? Who? We invited the team at Niles over. They should be here soon. Are we going to be okay? Our team is made up of four baseball players, two nerds, and three weebs. Wait. Did you count me as a nerd? I'm a hybrid. I'm a weeb, too. Guys, we'll be fine. Maybe. The word maybe was too honest. Don't worry. It's seriously super casual. They aren't bringing their coaches or anything. It's just nine of them driving over in their cars. Just relax and have fun. This isn't really important, but they have a cool mascot. It's Killer Whales. Hell yeah. What's our team name? Do we get a mascot, too? Read your damn shirt. It's the Monarchs. That's so bland. But we're not really an official school team, so we can make up a name ourselves. Oh. Any suggestions? <laughs> Bagels. Yes. <laughs> I fucking love Diaz so much. The way you think is so damn cute. Chicken nuggets. <laughs> Bagels are simple. I kind of like, kind of like the boat. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd honestly be okay if it ended up like that. Any other suggestions? We should be something stronger than killer whales to assert our dominance. Dia looks back. Yeah. Bagel. <laughs> Monarchs are already more powerful than killer whales, though. You must keep killer whales in captivity. <laughs> but if it was like 1v1, a killer whale would tear a guy to shreds. We should be something bigger and more dangerous. Like what? Global warming? Oh my god. That's actually a hilarious name. No matter who we're up against, they'll pretty much just automatically lose. <laughs> yeah, it's funny because we're running out of time to drastically save our plan. Anyway, anyway, let's play video games. Like tigers versus global warming, who do you think's going to win? Our motto can be underestimate us and the world will be destroyed. <laughs> <laughs> it's not a very positive motto. I'm still kind of impressed Noel came up with that. What kind of name do you think I'd come up with? I don't know. Something nerdy that you thought sounded cool, but was actually really cringy. Like the algorithm. That's great, though. Algorithms! Algorithms! <clears throat> Yuck. <clears throat> Sorry, my Ringo voice is really off. <laughs> I feel like throwing up. Shut up! I never suggested that. And I don't like global warming. It's not threatening enough. How is it not threatening enough? It's irreversible and will devastate generations to come. But it's not a thing like a real thing you're saying you don't believe in global warming she means it's like an abstract concept yeah we should be something that sounds like it could rip our enemies from limb to limb like bagel L like <laughs> death, death machine like bagel are we forming a heavy metal band <laughs> death bagels <laughs> that's better i think Death Bagels is dramatically cuter, but Min is too pleased that Dia combined their suggestions to complain. Wait, I just thought of a name too. It better be Death Bagels. Semes. <laughs> <laughs> no! <laughs> what, what is that? In Yaoi, the Seme is the dominant guy in the couple. What is Yaoi? You don't want to know. Usually only teen girls who like anime knows what know what it means, so maybe that's good? Most normal people will be totally oblivious. Yeah, the only reason Noelle knows is because I corrupted her. Let me reiterate, this is, this is a bad idea. We're going to have to make up a fake definition when our parents ask what it means. Worth. How is that worth it? Okay, we'll send this the fairway, which is a vote. Everyone write your vote down on a piece of paper. Karsha votes for... DEATH BAGELS! <laughs> Krista tallies up all the votes. The winner is... Death Bagels! Yeah! <laughs> Name status. Sick. Yes! Too bad we couldn't go with the fuck squad. But, you know. <laughs> the Death Bagels heads out to the field. The other team is on their way. They're parking right now. Stretch and warm up first. They range in a huge circle and begin stretching like usual. Focus on your breathing. And calm your mind. What is it? Follow the flow of my movements? Yeah. Like, Wii Trainer. 
Yeah. yeah. What's what's the line? I can't remember. Uh, I don't know. <laughs> you think I actually paid that much attention to the Wii Fit Trainer background yeah. stage stuff? Yeah, I do. Suddenly, Noel whirls around, looking frantic. Noel, get with the program. Be a Zen master. Where's Dia? Huh? She didn't follow us out? Indeed, Dia is nowhere in sight. Holy shit, she's so quiet, I didn't even notice she was gone. I didn't see it was missing, too. Oh my god. They're doing it. That's impossible. Min told me she was going to the bathroom on the way out, but that was like 15 minutes ago. She should be back by now. Maybe they got left behind in the locker room. Are they making out? Ah! Uh, what? Nothing. I was just <laughs> randomly screaming. Looks like Dee and Min aren't here. The girl's bathroom is empty. We should split up and search for them. No, I've watched enough TV to know where this is going. Get picked off one by one. What is this, a horror movie? The killer whales will be here any minute. We don't have time to come to school slowly together. Besides, we already lost the main problem, children. The rest of them aren't the type to just randomly wander off like this. That's true. Fine, disperse, death bagels. Meet back at the field in ten minutes, whenever you find them or not. Roger that. No one's hiding, holding the door open for people's eggs at the locker room. Smile says a car should comes closer. I can't stand here all day. You're cut off. Noel lets the door close in a crush's face. Oh my god. Noel is waiting for a car shot outside. Meaning. Where should we look? I don't know. It was just Dia would guess, but likely Twin Seo forced her to go somewhere. You realize Dia is like a foot taller and a hundred pounds heavier than Min, right? Min can't force Dia to do anything. If she took her somewhere, it's because Dia let her. Fine, force was too strong a word. Coerced. Dude, chill. You're so neurotic when it comes to Dia. Can't you just trust her judgment? In kindergarten, I asked Dia what she wanted to be when she grew up, and she answered a police dog. <laughs> Well, it was kindergarten. Yeah. Also, that... <laughs> I don't know. That sounds... The dog part seems fine. The cop but, part's the yeah, problem. Yeah, yeah, no. No. <laughs> Even in kindergarten, I understood that a cab <laughs> stares at camera. Hell yeah. Even in kindergarten, I understood that becoming another species wasn't an option. Hmm. Oh, let's look around. Karsha looks inside the girl's bathroom. Just as Chris said, it's empty. Darn, I thought Min might be having a diarrhea catastrophe or something. Coincidentally, that was my other suggestion for the team, team name. name. You trying to make me throw up? Yeah, it's my hobby. You know, sometimes I wonder why I bother with you. Because you love me. No, I don't. Yes, you do. No, I don't. Yes, you do. This is stupid. Knock it off. <laughs> you didn't deny <laughs> it that time. Confirmed. Not confirmed. That's not how it works. Um... Let's search the locker room. Within the field. Search the track. Hey, that's... Dia sprinting around the track at top speed. Yo, Dia! Whoops, I didn't mean to get to the answer already. I'm sorry. <laughs> I wanted to explore more. She can't hear us from here. Once Dia rounds a bend, Noelle and Akarsha flag her down. She's completely drenched in sweat. What are you doing? I got nervous, so I ran three miles. Feel better now. Okay. Oh, wait, sorry, that's you. Why didn't you say anything? Dia looks at the, her as though she's crazy. <laughs> yeah, yeah, that face, basically. Stressful. Don't like to bother people. Dude, you know that not communicating just makes most situations even more stressful, right? Where's Min? Hmm? What do you mean? Huh. huh, I guess you went missing separately. Never mind. Just go back to the diamond then. That way, Chris and Liz will know where you are. Dia nods and trots off. Got stressed. Ran three miles. You know how it is. Well, hey, we found a Dia. 50% success rate. Who's left? Let's check out the school library. Library B. Noel looks incredibly amused. Why the library B? Think Min Seo's gonna read a book? Doesn't hurt to be thorough, right? Karsha squeaks the door open. The book scan our alarms go off. Everyone in the library turns to look at her. Oh shit. <laughs> Karsha panics and bolts out the back back out the door. <laughs> <laughs> Whew. Good thing no one chased after us. What even just happened? I don't know. How odd. I don't even have any books in my backpack. Why'd it go off? Maybe it was a fluke. You should try again. No thanks. <laughs> oh, that did. Whoops. 
That did pay off. I love it. Uh, court courtyard we haven't gone to yet. Oh. Poach says reduce stress. Ha ha! How exactly did they expect us to do that? Not go to school? Get rid of our parents? Oh my god, I don't believe it. What? This is... This is a bush! I never would have guessed. Fascinating! Let's keep staring at this instead of doing something more useful. I... Oh, you won't let me. Okay. Time to go to class big. Class big. Akarsha admires her own reflection in the window. I hate myself, but in a fun way, where I'll still check myself out. Oh, I wish I was at that level. That me. It's the 21st century. Why is acne still a thing? Technology has literally advanced to the point where we can shoot laser beams at your eyes to improve your vision. You'd think we would have found a cure for bad skin by now. Like, dude, I don't even want to be pretty. I just want to look average, not gross all the time. It's hard being a weird goblin that no one has a crush on. Aww. I wonder what it's like to be attractive. Like, Dia could be wearing a garbage bag and still look better than I ever will in my entire life. Oh, Akarsha. I asked her what she washes her face with, and she said she just splashes water on it. Can you imagine being blessed with jeans that good? It's okay, though. I'm over it. Being ugly builds character. No! It's dead quiet in here. <laughs> if I farted, you could hear it from a mile away. Please don't. Yamero! The car is shrieking empty, em <laughs> goes in the empty hall for several seconds. Is that a reference? Uh, that, that's don't or stop it or something. Okay. Wow, the acoustics in here are great. I realize there's nothing I can do to prevent you from doing this, so I will wait outside and pretend not to know you. No, I'll leave the auditorium. Sasuke! Stressed out. <laughs> Stop asking about college. Stop asking about majors in my career. Stop asking about my future. I don't know, okay? I don't know. I'm not good at anything. I'm a fraud. I don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I'm not that smart. The beatboxing stopped. <laughs> Help. Do, 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 ba doom, boom. I'm so afraid of failure that everything I do has to be funny. Because if I'm not serious, it's not like I was really trying. I'm so unhappy. Good thing I disguised it as a series of jokes so no one notices the gaping chasm of darkness I live on the edge of. I want to die. Kill me. What are you doing? Also, the birth of a comedian. Hey! Ah! That is how comedy starts, right? Why are you here? Weren't you supposed to be going to the bathroom? I was. There's a family bathroom over there. She points to a door at the far end of the auditorium. Okay. Anyone can use it. It doesn't matter whether you're a boy or girl. Right? Right. Hmm. Min looks relieved that Akarsha let the topic drop. Were you serious about that dying stuff? No, nah, man, I'd never actively try to off myself. It's more like if I was crossing the street and a car came barreling toward me, I'm not sure I'd get out of the way. Yeah. Then I'll hit the car out of the way. You'll... You'll hit it? What? With my own car. I'll ram into the one driving toward you. Your car will get crushed. No, it won't. My car will be stronger. You think I'm going to own some weak, shrimpy-ass car? That other car is as good as dad. <laughs> She's serious? She's still trying to save me by crashing into another car? Min looks relieved that she made a car laugh. She's holding an emo Lincoln Park skateboard under one arm. Want to learn how to skateboard? Those aren't allowed at school, you know? Rules are made to be broken. Are you a square or a triangle? I'm pretty sure that's not how the saying goes. Min places her skateboard on the floor. Here, I'll show you something cool. Hold on. No, that's you again. Hold on to me. I got you. But don't make this weird. Don't make this weird. Weird, weird shriek. shriek. <laughs> oh, yeah! What? <laughs> what did I just say, you useless hoe? 
<laughs> Holy shit, this is the best scream in the game. Min manages to stand on the skateboard oh, no. with Akarsha on her shoulders. That's amazing. We're soaring, flying. Something, something, breaking free. I haven't watched High School Musical. I don't know the rest of the lyrics. It's okay, let's just keep repeating that one line. We're soaring, flying. We're soaring, flying. That was amazing. <laughs> Feel better now? Yeah, I'm fine. I needed that. Karsha's eyes are filling up with tears. Time to make a joke. You know what the economy needs? Three dollar bills. They should put my face on it. Min rubs her, rips her in the arm. You suck. Me. Karsha rips her back. Hey. Oops, that was a bit harder than I expected. Min hits her back. Harder. Karsha retaliates by spitting on her own knuckles. My punches inflict poison damage now. <laughs> it turned into a fist fight. Hearing signs of violence, Noel has run back to the auditorium. Krista, look what they're doing! Man, come back to the field with me. Krista drags me off, leaving Karsha and Noel behind. We found both of them. Yes. Once again, I'm a hero. You're not a hero. Let's head back to the field, too. I'm holding out for a hero. Karsha goes into the family bathroom. Unlike the regular ones, there's only one stall. It's so clean. Where's the pee on the toilet seat? Where's the poo and blood stains like in the girls' bathroom? It must be this pristine because no one else knows about it. This is heaven. No wonder Min uses it. Yes, that is the reason. Bad memories looking this now. I was an idiot. Huh. 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 If you're waiting for me to disagree, we're going to be here all day. <laughs> Gotta walk back. Oh. oh, whoops. Shit. Time loss. Time loss. There World goes record loss. Oh, now we're behind base. Finally, everyone's here. And no one fell victim to a serial killer. What a relief. Death bagels assemble. I love Krissa. The other team is warming up on the field. Two of them break for the rest of the group and rush up to Dia. Dia wears back in fear and hides behind Noelle for a moment before she appears to recognize them. Dia, it's us. <gasps> Dia high fives him with a brutally excessive amount of force. Their palms meet with a deafening clap. The victim swears and flaps the affected hand as if to shake off the stinging, trying valiantly to smile, but there are tears of pain in his eyes. We made our team accept the match when we heard you were here. You look different from him now. I can't believe this. Wouldn't it be more unbelievable if we still looked the same after all this time? Dia raises her hand for another high five. No, 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 I don't want it. <laughs> Dia, you know them? We know Hayden from elementary school, and Jun's my twin. Jun jolts at the sound of Min's voice, visibly shocked. Also, thankfully, they're coated pink and blue. There was no other way to tell. <laughs> Min? What are you doing here? Same thing as you. Baseball. Do Mom and Dad know you're doing this? Do you even need to ask? Jun sighs. He seems really used to this. Now that everyone's here, let's get started! Baseball. 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 Since we're the home team, we're defending first. Mm -hmm. Liz hands Min what looks like a tiny white pouch filled with powder. A cloud of dust puffs out when she grabs it. We have resin. Rosin. To improve your grip. Wow, real rosin. Min is so excited she accidentally inhales a bunch of the powder. <laughs> <coughs> <sighs> Hayden is the leadoff hitter. Min spits on the ground for dramatic effect. Ew. Ah, oh, crud. I gotta stop hitting with the right click button. Min, that's gross. Don't do that again. Dia crouches into position. So after that, she points her index finger down at the ground. Min smugly nogs back and straightens up on the mound. Since when do you two have signs? Oh, they don't mean anything. We're just doing it because it looks hella cool. <laughs> Min winds up and throws. Ball comes in chest high, perfectly spinless. If someone had written a message on it, you could read it. Then it does what looks like a double dip and drops into Dia's glove. Hayden swings at it, but he's way off. Yeah! Was the scream really necessary? Hayden manages to skim the next pitch, bounces up about an inch above the bat, and plops down in front of the plate. 
Dia pounces on it and throws him out. No. What was that? A knuckleball. It's like a trick pitch. A knife. <laughs> I don't trust it. Cursed. <laughs> it's not cursed. It's like that because of physics. I agree. I don't trust it. It's cursed. Cursed. Krissa yells out to the death bagels triumphantly. See? I told you I wasn't making it up. Sakura and Yuki exchange a look then turn to Krissa with skeptical faces. Come on! Next batter swings helplessly at three knucklers and sits down. Junseo is up against his twin now. Min winds up and lets another knuckler go. He had a line drive straight at a car shop. It's coming toward me! I can't reach it with my hands. Kick it. <laughs> <laughs> Krissa kicked the ball! She's now hopping around one foot in pain. Ow! Ow! You fucking dumbass! Why didn't you just catch it? Don't mind. What? Don't mind. They say that in sport anime when someone screws up. I'm literally going to throw up. You even said it with a fake Japanese accent. Wait, I think it's a good idea, though. It helps boost morale. Ball bounces back toward home plate. Dia scoops up the ball and hurls it to first. Oh! What the hell? That actually worked? Yes, I'm a certified genius. My Nobel Prize. You're not getting a Nobel Prize for kicking a ball instead of catching it the right way. Oh, we don't have real dugouts? There's just a little bench for each side. What were you expecting? The school doesn't have an official baseball team, so we're lucky to even have this. I forgot what dugouts needed to be have underground like that. It's not a freaking bomb shelter. Stop being so dramatic. The Death Bagels take their seats on the bench, except Dia, who's still taking off the catcher's gear. It's not quite enough space for everyone. Left standing, Dia hovers uncertainly beside them. There's not enough room. Then you can sit in my lap. Hmm. Shouldn't it be the other way around? Why the hell would it be the other way around? You're the smaller one? Ow! Uh -oh. Ben kicked Akarsha really hard under the bench. Dia and Noel both stared at Akarsha's yelp. Neither of them saw the kick. Hmm? What's wrong with you? Hmm. She's glaring at me with a murderous look in her eyes. I, uh, farted. I was trying to cover up the sound. What? Crap, I don't think she buys it. That's inconsistent with your past behavior. That's me discussing it all the time. No, you have to read that one without laughing. You have to read that whole sentence without giggling in the middle. It's mandatory. <laughs> Last week you told me the disgusting and unwanted fact that you had con three consecutive farts that formed in a major, a D major. <laughs> nope. From the top. <laughs> Son of a bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Feel good? <laughs> Hold on, I'll get it. Last week you told me the disgusting and unwanted fact that you had three consecutive farts that formed a D major triad. Why go through such lengths to mask a single fart now? You're hiding something. I should scream now as a distraction. Bah! Shut up! Stop screaming! You're screaming too. The bench creaks a bit as Dia nervously lowers herself in Min's lap. Min immediately wraps her arms around Dia's waist. <laughs> Aww. I have to do this so we don't lose our balance. Yeah! Better watch out, Dia. Min's probably thinking about doing bad things to you. I want to do bad things to you, Akarsha. Really? Like what? Like snap your fucking neck. How mean. Junseo is pitching against the Death Bagels. His throws look a lot faster than Min's. He strikes up Esther with ease. Oh. Liz is keeping score with pencil and paper. She dutifully marks the strikeout with a K. <sighs> Why isn't a strikeout S or SO? Why K? K is for kill. Yes. That can't be it. Because S is already used for sacrifice. It came from the last letter of struck. That's a bad reason. Agreed, I like Min's reason better. Sakura is up to bat now. She whiffs the first pitch, but pops the second one up. I got it. He chases the ball into foul territory and dives for it. Oh! This situation sucks. If we were even able to get to first base, we could steal or do some weird shit, but no... Actually, I did some research on that. In most cases, attempting to steal has a much higher chance of having a negative result than a positive one. Since most of us aren't that confident in our stealing skills, it would be better for us not to try it. What the hell are you saying? Stealing is important. No, it objectively has little value and is often actually detrimental. For steal attempts to not be detrimental, you have to succeed around 70% of the time. 
That's the point where you break even. I spotted the SB Nation viewer. <laughs> Here, I've, I've, I've been watching this series called Chart Party. <laughs> anyway, I want you all to call me Juice now. <laughs> that The exact number depends on the situation, but it's always around that range. For instance, if a runner on first with no wilds getting caught in stealing will lose the team two-thirds of a run on average, and a successful steal gains a third of a run. So for every three steal attempts, you need to convert at least two, or the only thing you're stealing for run is runs from your team. Do you succeed that often? If not, you're actually hurting the team's chances. Min looks like she understood none of that. Shut your hell up, you lamppost. Shut your, Shut hell, your up. hell up. Lamppost. You can't reduce things down to numbers. Yes, I can. It's called sabermetrics. She uses a stick to scratch a formula into the dirt. SBP equals SB times SB plus CS times 100%. Min quickly stomps out the formula. The evil is defeated. <laughs> Those equations are just a bunch of word games. They're not real. Look, this isn't even a matter of opinion. I'm right. Numbers don't lie. There are things you can't see. Like what? Your feelings? The power of friendship? Does it not occur to you that perhaps your enemies have those things too? They're on both sides of the equation, so they cancel each other out. Oh my god. This is baseball, not rocket science. But this isn't rocket science. This is basic algebra. Bro, give it up. Noel hates being wrong. Actually, I wouldn't know. I'm not familiar with the sensation. <laughs> Liz comes up and taps the car on the shoulder. Hey, you're up to bat now. Karsha lets out a prolonged crow. <laughs> that lasts for 30 seconds. <laughs> wow, no, you need to get, you need to get through all 30 seconds of croaking, otherwise we can't move on. Alright, I'll start the timer when you start. 3, 2, 1. Impressive. Oh no, you're going past the 30 second mark. This isn't canon anymore. We have to go back and do it so it's only 30 seconds. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, now you can read. We're down two outs, so I better not screw this up. Akarsha picks a bat and heads to the plate. Breaks it in half immediately, dual wielding one half in each hand. <laughs> uh, psychological warfare. You're not invited to my birthday party anymore. What? What? This is my special technique, verbal smoke bomb. My remark <laughs> brought up so many questions that he's been thrown into confusion. Karsha cut it out. <laughs> Still looking perplexed, Junseo pitches the ball. Karsha isn't experienced enough to distinguish balls from strikes, so she randomly decides whether or not to swing. Unsurprisingly, she racks up three strikes in an instant. No, my special <laughs> technique. How, how about you practice more instead of using your special technique? It's time to switch sides now. The batter hits the ball towards Akarsha again. Akarsha fumbles the ball, allowing the runner to safely reach the bag. Thanks for screwing up. I didn't screw up. That was on purpose. The truth is, I'm a double agent. Just admit you messed up already! <laughs> the killer whales have one out and a runner on first. The runner takes off as Junsio and bunts the ball. Roll slowly all the way down to left foul line. Dio follows it closely, hovering over it like a hawk. What's she doing? Dio can grab it when it's on the left side of the line. It'll count as a foul. You can't run on foul balls, so the run will have to return to first. Ball still rolling almost exactly down the line. Karsha runs ahead of the ball and directs her foot in the dirt to make a path curving to the right. Hey! The ball hits the path and rolls foul. Dia quickly grabs it. <laughs> Good job, Dia. <laughs> Sorry, I'm just so taken by happy Dia face. <laughs> How come everything, everyone like can't just be like Happy Dia? Hmm, I did it. Hmm. I'm a triple agent. You, you can't just change allegiances to match whether or not you messed up. Min throws the next pitch for a strike. Nice work. Time <laughs> to switch sides again. That was fast. That's good. Means Min's knuckleball is working. We should give it a special name. Like, Knuckles. Not calling it a damn Sonic character. It can be butterfly related since they flutter. Butterfly. butterfly thingy. 
Butterfly from Hell's Anus. Are they going to name the Knuckleball Butterfly Soup? The anus part wasn't necessary. <laughs> Is that where the title drop's going to come in? I don't know. We'll find out. Noelle, you're up to bat. Karsha cat, cat calls Noelle as she walks up to the plate. Wow, it's Noelle. Yowie mama. Shut up. I'm not Yowie. <laughs> it's Yuri. How me? Swing and a miss. I wonder if Noelle enjoys this. She's having fun. She's scowling as she swings the bat. That's just her personality. If she disliked it, she would have quit by now. Noelle strikes out. Dia, you're next. Catcher gets up and stands far off to the side, away from Dia. Jun throws it into his mitt. It's an intentional walk. <laughs> <laughs> right off the bat, they haven't even seen her hit yet. They're scared of her. Hayden knows how strong she is from when we were little. They probably figure it's fine to let her have first, since no one else on the team can get a hit. That's smart. It'll be hard for us to score without her. Until Dia walks over there and hits the ball at them. <laughs> <laughs> Once they've thrown four balls, Dia throws the bat to the side and trots the first. Looks like he made the right call, because after Dia's walk, the death bagels accumulate two more outs in an instant. Dia's stranded there until they switch sides. She sort of stole. <laughs> Stealing's good. I agree. Property is theft. Indeed. Neither team manages to score for the next few innings. D is still getting walked at, at each at bat, and the other death bagels aren't skilled enough to reliably hit the enemy's pitches. A few people manage to get off hits hits off Min's knuckleball by chance, but no one's made it home yet. By the seventh inning, though, some some of Min's luck starts to run out. Min's next pitch comes in high and inside, but instead of dropping, it soars up into the air. D has to jump to catch it. That's the fourth ball. The batter throws the bat to the side and jogs to first base. The bates are loaded with no outs. This is terrible. They're probably going to score at least one goal. Did you just say goal? The next batter is a buff-looking fellow. Or a BLF. It matches <laughs> the pitch high, straight into right field where Noel is. No, that's the worst possible person he could have hit it to. It's so far out the ball is like a speck in the clouds. Noel's apprehensively backing up with her glove out, squinting up at the sky. Spins her feet firmly shoulders width apart, reaches up, and claps her free hand decisively over the glove. She caught it? She caught it? How is that possible? The runners all skid and scramble in reverse direction. They all need to tag up to the former bases now, where they're out. No one thought she would catch it. Here's her chance. No throws it to Liz at second base. It's a loud slap noise. Liz covers the glove with the hand, preventing the ball from bouncing out. She easily tags the bag before Hayden can return to it. That's two outs. Just one more. Liz rears up and throws to Akarsha, who's remaining in first base. What the hell? There's nothing in Liz's hand. She's throwing nothing at Akarsha. Akarsha pretends to catch it in her glove and tags first base before June reaches it. Oh! Runners are dejectedly returning to their defensive positions. A triple play! June is looking at Akarsha suspicious suspiciously. Wait a minute. She's not holding anything. He saw... What? what? Where's the ball, then? Heck if I know. How do you guys not know? I got it. Krista plucks the missing ball from the grass in the right field where it's been this entire time. Noel didn't even catch it in the first place. I knew it. So we're not out after all. No, you're all still out. The rulebook states that if a runner bandages his effort to run the bases, he's out. You all clearly gave up, so it's still a triple play. You son of a bitch. Hey. That was actually a compliment, I think. It was a compliment. This feels kind of like an asshole move, though. On what planet do you guys live where Noelle isn't an asshole? Is it okay to trick them like that? Isn't it cheating? It's not cheating. You guys deserve a freaking Academy Award for that performance just now. Especially Noelle. Good job. Shut up. Don't break me like I'm a little kid. Are you crying? I'm knob crying. <laughs> By the way, when you act like the ball is somewhere it's not, that's called a deke. Short for decoy. Deke's an important part of infield play, like a feint. They're rarely as elaborate as the three-way deke we just pulled off, but it's the same idea. We the Deke Squad! Deke Squad! I love it. Get <laughs> Get it? Yeah. Oh my god. It's like Dick Squad, but Deke. Deke Squad. Deke, Deke squad. squad. Deke Squad. Deke Squad. Deke Squad. I bet the teachers always ever you two in class. Bring out the worst in each other. Takarsh has turned to bat again. There are already two outs and no one on base. The game is still tied. Oh, oh. Suddenly, June cries out from the mound. Wait, time out. My contact hurts. Everyone pauses. What's wrong with it? I think I got dust under the lens. 
Face screwed up in pain, he takes out what appears to be a tiny plunger. What is that? It's for taking out contact lenses. You're gonna play without it on? You can't pitch like that. Caden, didn't you say you wanted to try pitching? Right now, I've literally never pitched a ball in my life. Why not? There's a first time for everything. Jensei takes out the, uh, the offending contact. He's now effectively blind in one eye. Okay, here goes nothing. Definitely intimidate. I go to baseball games. I eat the baseballs. <laughs> <laughs> he pitches the ball. Hershey gets just up just in time to take a wild swing at it. I somehow hit it. Through sheer luck, it's heading towards Jun, who's squinting up at it with his good eye. I got it. The ball hits him in the face. No. Hershey makes it to second base in the confusion. Mm, nice. Nice bird. Nice bat. <laughs> Finally, for the first time this entire game, someone's all on already on already on base <laughs> when Dia is up. Even though Hayden is just walking Dia, he looks really scared to be pitching against her. He throws the next pitch. Trim watches the ball soars almost straight up into the sky in a high arc. Drops back down about halfway to the plate. He did a Noel! Don't aim errors after me! Hayden, what are you doing? Shut up! It slipped out of my hand. Hayden picks up the ball and tries again. He accidentally throws it straight at Dia's head. Dia ducks. Ah! Sorry! What the fuck is your problem? How dare you! Dia could have been killed! Min and Noel have stormed the mountain and are now bashing Hayden together. I'm calling the police! What? No one got hurt! It doesn't matter. That was criminal negligence. I'll personally make sure your entire life is ruined. He should be executed. Executed? executed. Hey, get back on the bench! Well, I'll put the phone down. No one's getting arrested. Min, where did you get... <laughs> I'm dying. Min, where did you get more knives? Dia <laughs> oh. steps back up to the plate as Min and Noel are dragged back to the bench. They're both glowering in the corner, darkly muttering to, no to one another. There's no justice in the world. Both of you, knock it off! Hayden winds up and throws the ball. It's not far enough outside. Dia lunged at it and made contact. She got a hit off the intentional walk attempt. She hammers it straight into right field, right at Jinseo again. I got this. I got this. The ball rolls through his legs. I still got this. Dia and Akarsha cross home plate to win the game. Yeah! yeah! I can't believe it. We won! You don't have to look so blatantly shocked. Hell yeah, the Niles team is departing. Min and Noel glare at Hayden as he goes into the van they arrived in. Are you guys still plotting revenge? I'll help. I love drama. Are you still on your period? Maybe you can touch him with your cursed period blood hand again. Too late, man. The blood's brown now. They might think it's mud. There's nine of us, though, so there's probably two and one quarter other girls on their periods. What if we got all of them to run at the boys' team from different directions? That'd be like a nightmare. I doubt anyone but you would agree to that plan. Honestly, guys would probably freak out even if you just threw a clean pad at them. Oh my gosh, you're right. Thanks for the idea. No, no! <laughs> Don't do this, I refuse to be involved in this. This is friendship goals, Frenchman. If we go down, we all go down together. That's just a roundabout way of saying you're dragging me down with you. Garza pulls a bad backpack and rips the wrapper open with a loud crinkle. I don't get why they make the sound so conspicuous. I know, right? The only way they could make it more obvious is if they added firecrackers. Chris has power walking over to them. She has developed a sixth sense when some stupid shit is about to go down. Who's opening a pad out here? Uh, Noah quickly moves about 15 feet away and pretends not to know them. We gotta make this quick. That you don't need to pick up knives every single time you do a mint line. We should soak it with something to make it more unknown. I have Gatorade. What flavor? Yellow one. <laughs> Yellow flavor. Yes! I hate that I know you well enough to discern what that you wanted to look like pee. Pee girl. Karsha pours a splash of the Gatorade on it. I feel like I'm doing one of those absorbency <laughs> demonstrations in commercials. Our liquid is the wrong color though, it's always blue. Those cowards. They should use red, like blood. Akarsha holds up her, their finished creation. I'm gonna throw it now. Should I? No! Do it! Akarsha flings the pad like a frisbee into the van. It hits Jun in the shoulder. 
What is that? Ah! Joan goes down. <laughs> Screams for the band as though a grenade was thrown in. Team desperately scatters away from the deadly object. Someone's climbing. <laughs> 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 Ha ha ha! What did you brats do this time? Mmm. Run, run! Get back here! Yeah! <laughs> <clears throat> Dia's house. Hey, I'm here. Hello? Dia? Homie? Dia's examining something on a tree branch. Miles tells Edgeworth I've made a cocoon. She points at the chrysalis. He's soup now inside. Isn't it crazy? Their whole body liquefies and has to rebuild itself. Imagine if growing up was that bad for us. Must be a complicated process. I always worry something will go wrong in there and they won't ever wake up. What if someone shakes it really hard? It'll stir the soup. Nah, man, they're pretty resilient. Did you know its memory survives that? If you teach a caterpillar or something, like to fear a certain smell or whatever, after it comes out of its cocoon as a butterfly, it'll still remember. Even though the outside's different, it's still the same caterpillar on the inside, from beginning to end. Will he remember me? Sure, as much as an eating machine can. Believe in Miles Tails Edgeworth. Hmm. Akarsha. Yeah? I need to tell you something. Noel would not understand. I... That's... Bean... I like a girl. Oh, nice. You're not surprised. I mean, I can tell. I'm by. <laughs> confused a car. <laughs> confused Dia noises. It's not a secret. I've literally hit on girls in front of you. I've literally hit on you. You what? Those are all jokes. I thought you were kidding. The kinds of jokes you decide to tell are indicative of your character. I tell gay jokes because I am a gay joke. Also, you should tell Min. She likes you back. I'll help you. Oh. Yeah. yeah, they ship it. Everyone ships it. You ship it? Gay squad. Gay, gay squad. squad. Gay, gay squad. Oh. No, you don't need to... It's she, in the picture. She has one knife in the picture. No, pic there were two knives. Roll the tape back. I'm not rolling the tape back. You can't make me. Min, are you ready to go? Heck no. I still gotta do my hair. Slowpoke. Not my fault. Do you have any idea how long this takes to dry? Oh, come on, it's like five minutes. But it builds up. Combined over my lifetime, it adds up to, uh, infinity. If you don't know the answer, just admit it. I read something interesting in the news this morning. Wait, what? I thought you had that thing where you can't read. Dystopia. Dyslexia. Dyslexia. And I can read, it just takes me longer. So, what's the thing you read? What percent of America do you think it's Asian American? Definitely 100. 100 percent? Yeah. Yeah. 100 percent! What am I then? Your imaginary friend? Oh, I forgot about you. That's even worse! I'm standing right in front of you! What's the actual answer? Four percent. Four percent? I knew it! He can't read! I can read! That's what it really said! Yeah, right. That's impossible. You sh you, go ahead. Wait, I don't know who's Jun Sale anymore. Oh, uh, we're both. Oh. Are you sure you read it correctly? Sometimes you just, you read things wrong. I didn't read it wrong. It said right there, 4%. Must have been a misprint. Like they forgot the zero. And thought the nine was a four, so it's really 90%. Oh, wait, I know. They forgot to include the Indians. It was including Indians. Why don't you guys believe me? It's really 4%. Because it's not. Hayden, look around you. Do you see any white people? Min gestures at all the other kids on the playground. Indeed, everyone is Asian. You're like an endangered species. But that's just here. The rest of the country isn't like this. Don't you wonder why everyone is white on TV? Oh, right. I'm Gen C. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> that's easy, because their parents won't let them become actors. It's too risky. Only white parents are that dumb. Okay, but what about sports? There aren't any Asians there either. It's the same thing. Being an athlete is too risky for Asian parents to prove of it. The difference can't be that big. I'm going to cut out the newspaper article and show it to you guys. Uh, uh, Stop looking at me all concerned like that. I can't believe it. Hayden's gone mad. Hey, I'm not mad. Gone mad. Hayden, are you feeling lonely or something? It's okay. We still like you even though you're different. Yeah. Every year they show us that video where they go back in time to racism. 
Racism's over. I give up. Forget it. Playground structure rentals is a bunch of boys. Climb aboard. Hey, Hayden, Jun, want to play baseball? Uh, he looks like he really doesn't want to. And easily he turns to Hayden, who just shrugs. Aren't you both in Little League? Yeah, but... What about me? Can I play? You? Yeah, why not? There's an uncomfortable silence. The group is nervously exchanging glances amongst themselves. This is clearly the first time his girl has asked to join their ranks. I'm not like other girls. I'm way, way worse. The others look at Min skeptically. What, are you scared you'll lose to a girl? What? No! Wow, you are scared. You little bitch. A hush falls over the group. She said the B word. She plays video games, too. Oh yeah? Like what? Like Sonic Adventure 2. This instantly wins everyone over! <laughs> yes! And she beat the perfect chaos fight, too. Oh. <laughs> group has made their way to the field. Jun, your shirt's so girly. How's it girly? It's Arthur. Everyone is scrutinizing Jun's shirt now. Wearing Arthur on your shirt looks gay. I'm not gay! Then why are you wearing that shirt? Ha 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 Min takes out a box cutter. Hey. A, a box cutter. A box cutter. I could cut a box with this. No, you couldn't. I could. It's a butter knife. I'll do it right now. You could cut through the tape on a box with a butter knife. You could not cut a box with a butter knife. I'll do it right now. Give me a box. No. <laughs> What's so funny? You want to go? The blade glints in the sunlight as she stabs the air in front of the jeering boys. <laughs> I'll stab your baseball. Would you... Okay, I understand the bit, but don't stab the knives while I'm sitting right next to you. I'm not stabbing them toward you. I'll stab them this right, way. Right, and everyone the abruptly direction. stops laughing. You, you can't do that. Says who? You? Fight me. The boy shrinks back on the bench as she nears him. That's what I thought. Min successfully asserted dominance over the leader of the group. Punched him in the snout. <laughs> <laughs> she clicks the blade back in and sits down. Thanks. Anytime. It's your Nuna's job to protect you. It's Min's turn at bat now. She swings ferociously at the incoming pitch. Die! Die! Min hits the ball toward the mound. Pitcher ducks to avoid getting beaten. Min reaches the bag with time to spare. I made it to first. It's Jun's turn at bat. Jun bunted it into the dirt. He's sacrificing himself so I can make it to second. Min dashes for second base. She slides feet first into the bag. Ha ha! Suddenly everyone's laughing at her. Huh? Min, your skirt... He's pointing down at it. Min's skirt is flipped up so everyone can see her underwear. I hate skirts. They're stupid. What? Don't be silly. You look so cute in them. I don't want to look cute. I want to look cool. Well, we already bought them, so you have to wear them. I always say I don't like them, but you keep buying them anyway. I'd rather die than wear one. It's embarrassing. How come I have to and June doesn't? That'd be crazy. June's a boy. Boys don't wear skirts. But what if I want to? <laughs> That's not fair. Then I won't wear skirts either then. Also, Mom, I don't like this shirt anymore. What are you talking about? That's your favorite shirt. I changed my mind. Why? It's a perfectly good shirt. I, I just did all right. I'm not, am I not allowed to not like a shirt? Both of you are being ridiculous. You're wearing the clothes we bought you, and that's final. So spoiled. What kind of kids are you? Uh, hmm. Car glides up the ramp to the freeway. Jun Siu is mashing the buttons on his Game Boy Advance like his life depends on it. You've been playing that the entire day. It's my turn. Wait, just like five more minutes? You said that 20 minutes ago. I have to beat this level. Mom, Jun won't let me play on the Game Boy even though he said he won. Why don't you look outside at all the trees? Why do I have to do that when Jun gets to play Sonic? That's not fair. It's not normal for a girl to like video games that much. None of our friend's daughters play games. Must be something wrong with your hormones. We should go see a doctor. I don't need to see a doctor. There's nothing wrong with liking games. Yes, there is. It's not natural for a girl. It's called a game boy, not a game girl. It's called Game Adam, not Game <laughs> Stad. Oh, that fell apart. Yeah. Ha ha ha. <laughs> Good one. That's not funny. This isn't fair. It's just a game. Take it easy. Min wrenches the Game Boy under June's hands. Before he can stop her, she slows down the window and chucks it as hard as she can onto the freeway. Mom! Look what Min did! You did what? Did you get the Game Boy back? We turned around and got it. The screen was busted, though. 
Once you turned it on, it showed this rainbow shit. You couldn't use it at all. No. Why are you so angry all the time? Who is breaking stuff? Because people are stupid all the time. Just, like, calm down. Try not getting angry. I am trying. Try harder. You didn't have to do that. No, neither of you can play it. Exactly. Now it's fair. Why should he get to be happy when I can't? That's one way to think about it. Jun returns to the table with all their Happy Meals. Thanks. And digs into his box, pulls out a plastic wrapped toy. Ooh, look what I got. It's a futuristic looking Hot Wheels car, sporty translucent ice blue windows. Whoa. Jenna wraps his toy too. His is a monster truck. Whoa. That's not bad either. Uh, I guess. I don't really get why these things are popular. Hayden, are you up to trading for yours? Depends. What you got? Min takes her toy out of her Happy Meal. It's a Barbie doll. <clears throat> I don't want this. I'm gonna ask for a replacement. Imagine a world where love is illegal. The screen shows a man and a woman bumping into each other, making eye contact. Breathtakingly original. The man and woman are passionately making out. Yuck. Forbidden romance like you've never seen before. For some reason, the entire cast is comprised of brown-haired white people. They look similar enough that they could be siblings. What the heck? See? It's all white people on TV. We've already gone over this. It's because Asian people's parents don't let them become actors. That can't be it. The difference is way too extreme. Min sadly shakes her head at him. Gone mad. I haven't gone mad. Kane is trying to cheer Jen up. Just came up with a great joke. Want to hear it? Sherlock Holmes owned all the houses in her neighborhood. What would the neighborhood be called? A small patient smile forms on Jen's face. Sherlock Holmes. What? How did you know? You've already told me this joke before. No way! I came up with it just now! But you also told it to me last year. You forgot your own joke and came up with it all over again. What? I seriously don't remember, though. Just covers his face when he laughs. But you did. It was exactly the same. It's not even that funny, but you were so proud of it both times. Exhaling, he appears to regain his composure, but it's only a moment before he doubles over again. Why were you so proud? Hey, it's a great joke, okay? Looking aghast, Jun pulls a wrapped burger out of his Happy Meal. What's wrong? They yeah. gave me a cheeseburger instead of chicken nuggets. Then go complain. No, it's okay. I don't want to bother the workers. Suit yourself. Min approaches the counter. Hey, you! I want a different toy. Sorry, can't do that. No, I don't mean I'm trying to get a specific one. I want a boy one, but they gave me a girl toy by mistake. But you're such a pretty girl. You don't want Hot Wheels. Yeah, I do. Hand it over. You're getting it. <laughs> you're a funny little girl. Well, that didn't work. Hmm. 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 Am I wrong to be reading, a l like, a little bit of trans... I don't know. Into, I, I, I'm feeling like... Mm, we'll find out. We'll find out. We are in the arc. What were you thinking? Why'd you ruin your hair like that? That's what you get. And it's not ruined. It's better like this. What's gotten into you? If you continue like this, no man's ever going to marry you. Who cares? If I have to have long hair to get married, I don't want to get married. I don't ever want kids. Parents further their brows and concern. You have to have at least two or three. I don't think I'd make a good parent. I don't want my kids to end up hating me. You won't be happy if you don't have kids. You'll get it when you grow up. What's there to get? I'll never want to kiss a guy anyway. They're smelly and have gross skin like Dad. Well, nobody's perfect. You have to have realistic expectations. I am being realistic. I don't want someone who's nothing special. I'm pretty awesome, so I should get someone who's awesome too. Aw, Prince Charming doesn't exist in real life. If you think like that, you'll never find anyone. Then I'll just stay alone. You can't do that. Why do you get to decide what happens to me? We're your parents. You have to do what we say. No, it's my life, not yours. What's wrong with you? What did we ever do to deserve to, to get a horrible child like this? There's something wrong with her brain. She's so disobedient. She's still playing baseball with all those boys. What's wrong with that? Do you see any other girls doing that? Do you want to be some kind of weirdo? But June gets to. How come I don't get to? June is a boy. You're a girl. What part of that don't you understand? Are you brain damaged? That's stupid. It's not fair. That's reality. The world's not fair. This isn't some fairy tale. You have to accept it or you're stupid. I won't accept it. I won't ever accept it. 
So stupid. We really do have to take you to a doctor now. You have mental problems. Brain damaged. Retarded. You're the one who's retarded. I hate you. Go to hell. There's a small statue sitting on the living room shelf. Min's dad picks it up and hurls it at her. Whum! Min! Min dodges. The statue straight to the glass coffee table behind her, shattering the glass into a thousand pieces on the floor. Min was expecting the shards to be all sharp and jagged, but they, instead they looked like icy slush. You were asking for it. Jun Seo has started crying. Stop it! She's sorry! She's sorry! Stop! Shut up. He grabs Jun's arm. Huh? <gasps> Min lunges at her dad and bites down on his wrist. Ah! He lets go of Jun. Min throws a punch, but he catches it with his hand. He's so strong. I hate this. I hate this. I'll kill him if it's the last thing I do. I'll kill him. I'll save all of us. I'll wait until he's asleep and slit his throat. You can't. You'll go to jail. I don't have a choice. I don't want to hurt anyone, but I want to be happy, too. Dad dies, we won't have enough money to live. Then Mom will get a new husband. Maybe this time we'll get a normal one, who doesn't go crazy and break everything. Dad only does that when he's mad. You know he'd lose his temper if he kept saying things like that. You should have just apologized and said you were wrong. But I wasn't wrong. It doesn't matter. Yeah, it does. I'm not going to say I was wrong when I wasn't. You're so stubborn. Don't you get it? There's no way to win against him. The more you argue, the worse you're making things. You have to learn how to pick your battles like me and Mom. Why do I have to be the one who has to be mature? That's not fair. I'm a kid. He's supposed to be the adult. I don't deserve to be treated like that. If he can't control himself, he shouldn't be allowed to have kids. You can think about some other time when he's not about to blow up. Just act like you're sorry. I'd rather die. Look, this is just common sense. Why don't you get it? Just keep your head down and act normal until we're old enough to get out. Screw that. I shouldn't have to worry about any of this in the first place. I'm not letting him treat me that way, like some wimpy sissy. There's a fine line between bravery and stupidity. I'll walk that line. No, you, you have to learn. I have to learn. I didn't do anything wrong. He's the one who should learn. We already went over this. You're a coward. You're an idiot. I don't understand you. Good. I don't understand you either. Min sulks on the bleachers as Jun and Hayden's team goes on defense. I hate everyone. How can they stand how unfair everything is? It's so obvious. Are they just dumb? There's something wrong with the world. God, I'm so mad. She takes out a pack of seaweed sheets and aggressively chomps on them as she thinks edgy, rebellious thoughts. I don't need anyone. I'll do everything all by myself. I'll never fall in love. I'll be like a lone wolf. <laughs> I don't think that's how that works. Oh, now I'm trying to remember the, uh, shit, I can't remember the meme. Black wolf turns into mist. Something, something. I don't. It's a good meme. Okay. Nope, I have to find it now. All right, We've I'll already read. disrupted it. I'll become so happy and successful that everyone who was ever bad no. to me has to back the... You're finding the meme. No. Back on their hands and knees for me to forgive them. Then, then we... That'll show them. They'll regret being so stupid and wrong while I was right. An enemy batter comes up to the plate. Oh my god! Holy shit! It's a girl with eyes the color of desert camouflage. I found it. <laughs> I never want to have <laughs> sex or ever grow up. I wish I was a black wolf that could turn into mist. It's very good. <laughs> the boys seated next to men are murmuring and pointing at the batter. Hey, look, it's a girl batting. Yes, our team got lucky. Hmm. Uh, she's pretty girl. The pretty girl is shaking like a leaf as she settles into her batting stance. She looks terrified. Don't give up. You're cool. Did you hear me? Don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. <gasps> At the sound of men's voice, the batter whirls around to face the stance, her eyes searching the crowd. For some reason, she can't seem to discern what direction it came from. Eventually, she gives up and turns back to the diamond. The pitcher winds up and sends a fastball straight down the middle. The batter swings at it with terrifying power. The ball rockets off the bat and flies over the fence on the far of the field. Holy shit! Wow! God bless America! A national treasure! <laughs> the batter hit a walk-off. The game is over because she scored. Everyone comes into the field. Her teammates have come bounding over, giddy off their victory. They're laughing and chatting amongst themselves. The girl nervously nodding at them instead of speaking. She's so shy. That's so cute. I wonder what her voice sounds like. 
Maybe she can't talk? Like Ariel and the Little Mermaid. Min's heart is pounding so fast. Holy shit. Okay, okay. Min, calm down. Play cool. Be smooth. Panic flashes to the girl's eyes when Min runs up to her. Hey. Um, you're really cool. What's your name? I'm Min. The girl's face lights up when she recognizes Min's voice. It was you, earlier. You cheered for me. Of course I did. You were badass. The girl startles. Min said a swear word. I mean, you were awesome. I'm Dia. That's so pretty. It sounds like you. <gasps> I have seaweed. Do you want some? Dia looks at Min all wide-eyed, like she can't believe her luck. Min actually spends a fraction of a second trying to think of a way she can casually give this herd the seaweed and somehow touched her hand in the process. And she just holds the sheet out normally. Dia's fingertips brush Min's as she takes it. Bizarre tingling feeling, impossible to identify, prickles across Min's palms. It feels like being tickled with soda bubbles. Thanks! You're welcome! Min stands there with an idiotic smile on her face as Dia eats it. Do you want to be friends? Is that how that works? Yeah, ninth grade. Min, help me. <laughs> What's wrong? Who hurt you? I'll kill them. I'll smash their heads in. I don't know how to talk to the baseball team. They're being weird. <laughs> <laughs> Pets you. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Prison rolls over. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh yeah. Goes on morning. <laughs> <laughs> Join our RP group. <laughs> Rubs against men. Oh, wait, no, that's your line. I'm sorry. Kicks you over a fence. <laughs> Be a furry free co somewhere else. <laughs> Sad nya. <laughs> Chris has entered the chat room. Hey, Chrissa. Yo. We should do something to celebrate our win. How about going out for lunch? <gasps> <laughs> that sounds good. Any suggestions for where? Buffet. Perfect. I have a coupon for Bombay Garden. It's an Indian buffet in the mall. If we're, if we're being really frugal. Bet men can pass off this under 12 for the kids' price. Why stop there? Infants eat for free. <laughs> Damn. Hey. More realistically, Min could actually fit in our bag. <laughs> the giant three foot long one. You can straight up smuggle her inside and not pay for her at all. Did the waiters find it odd that a tiny Asian kid suddenly materialized at her table? Nah, they won't see her. She'll stay in the <laughs> <laughs> When no one's looking, we can quickly slip food inside. <laughs> what kind of demented fantasy even is this? Being scared of for your future children, you weirdo. That sounds kind of fun, actually. I'll do it. <laughs> what? I'll be like... Oh my god, Albert Einstein is still her name. Illegal. Alright, let's meet up there at noon tomorrow. Be there or be square. Tomorrow? I won't be able to go. Hmm. Why not? I just had fun three months ago. My parents will complain. I'm wasting time. I can't go either. I'm still grounded for getting expelled from Niles. How are you coming to practice then? I told them I'm going to a tutoring group. Can't you say you're going to a special additional session? Because you're <laughs> extra dumb and need the help. Fuck you. No. Fuck you all. <laughs> and that's not gonna work. They won't be convinced that easily. Wait, listen. I have an idea. Min's mom accompanies her to the library. No, I'll see it inside with her, Mom. Min gestures at her, wrinkling her nose slightly. This is my private tutor or whatever. <sighs> yes, I'm receiving extra credit for this. Min's mom eyes the clearly nerdy girl Min would never be friends with. Noel's mom eyes the clearly stupid girl Noel would ever be friends with. Show us your latest math test. Min takes a crumpled ball of paper out of her pocket. When she smooths it out, it's marked all over with red with failure. What happened? I got unlucky. There were so many where I narrowed it down to two choices and guessed wrong. There's only four choices. Even if you choose every single answer at random, on average, you should have scored higher than this. Yeah, says who? What? Says probability. And all teaches men the concept of probability. Sounds it's fake. It's not fake. Do you at least understand it now? I guess. Finally convinced that Noelle is legitimately tutoring men, their mom heads home. We fooled them. All we need to do now is walk to the buffet and remember to come back here later to get picked up. It's so messed up that we even have to do this just for really basic things. We're not even doing anything bad. I can't comprehend a situation where you don't have to hide most of your life from your parents. Right? A healthy relationship with your parents? What's that? 
It sucks that due to societal pressures, practically everyone has kids, whether they're well-suited for being parent parenting or not. It took me a long time to accept that my mom and dad are decent people who just happen to make horrible parents. I bet mine are worse. My dad taped the times table up to 12 by 12 on the wall at eye level and made me stand facing it until I memorized the whole thing in one go. I was only fine, but I remember it clearly because I was there for hours and hours. I still don't know the 11 and 12 ones. Oh, yeah? My dad once threw a porcelain toilet seat at me from upstairs. Why a toilet seat? My dad went to pee in the middle of an argument and suddenly remembered how, bad he, how mad he was at me. So he stormed out of the bathroom with the thing in hand and hurled it at me on sight. Wow, that explains a lot about you. Parents should be required to take a test before they can have kids. I wish that were viable. Maybe in an ideal world where all vehicle sign turn signals sync up and blink at the same speed. I want the test to ask them to explain their motivation for being a parent. Do you want a kid just to elevate your own status? Or if your kid still turn out the way you expected? A bunch of white guys holler at them as they pass by the intersection. I... I don't. Can we not? Yeah. Min makes an obscene hand gesture at him. This is America. Speak English, motherfucker. Well fucking played. <laughs> That's not the correct way to think of it. It's kind of funny. He had two chances to get it right and got it wrong for both of us. Like you and your math test. Oh, shut up. <laughs> oh, friends. 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 friends, friends. friends. We're here. Dia and Akash are already waiting by the fountain. Dia. Wait, what was the line again? Uh, I think it like, I like farts. Something like that. I've forgotten already. <gasps> I love you. This just <laughs> added five <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> this just added five years to my lifespan. Diaz moves so fast that she's standing directly beneath the air conditioning vent. She closes her eyes contentedly as the cool draft blows over her face. You're sweating buckets. Were you exercising or something? Ran five miles to here from my house. But your house is only one mile away. I know. I just can't read maps. <laughs> <laughs> you should cool off in the fountain. No. It doesn't matter that you're not wearing a swimsuit. If you take off your clothes, your bra and underwear will basically be like a bikini. I think the swimsuit is the only issue here. It's called having fun, Frenchman. You should try it sometime. Really? Then why don't you jump into the fountain? Great question. What? It's filled with money people threw in there. It's like a swimming pool, but better. She's right. There's nothing stopping us from taking it. You can't be serious. Stop, stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> How much money have you got so far? Min examines the fistful of dirty coins in her hand. Uh, a lot. Min holds it up for Akarsha to see. You've got like a dollar eighty-eight. If we find 392 more cents, we can buy Mario Party at GameStop. Hey, what are you doing in there? Get out! Chris's power walking told them. Shit! Karsh and Min reluctantly climb out of the mall fountain. Why are you two like this? Have you never gone outside before? How dare you! Just last <laughs> week, I went to Safeway with my mom. Chris appoints at Noel, who's smugly watching them get scolded from a safe distance. And you! But I didn't do anything. Exactly, you should have stopped them. Are you the responsible one or not? Alright, I think they get it. Let's just go to the restaurant now. Get in the bag, man. <laughs> <laughs> Liz places the empty equipment bag on the floor and unzips it. Min climbs in and lies on her side in the fetal position. There's actually some room to spare. You you okay? They're doing, <laughs> they're doing it! <laughs> what bothers me is that they're actually... What? <laughs> you okay in there? It's kind of like being in a sleeping bag, except not padded and shitty. I'm doing a crime. If I stay undercover like this, I'll basically be stealing from the restaurant. That's right, homie. Fight the system. We need to set this up now so no one sees you. Everyone wave goodbye to Min. Bye, Min. I can't see a thing now that it's zipped shut. Min feels a tug on the top of the bag. <laughs> I didn't think about carrying the bag in. It's like a hundred pounds. Dia can lift it. She's the strongest. No, Dia won't work. She looked too guilty. You can see it on her face. See, Mom? She's already uncomfortable. Did you just call me Mom? But I did not. You totally did. I absolutely did not. All right, I'll carry the bag. Krissa is Team Mom anyway. Yeah, exactly. Whoa, she's lifting the bag off the ground. I'm suddenly really worried about being dropped. If you drop me, I'll kill you. They halted inside the restaurant. How oh, many? Nine. I mean eight. 
You don't have any large tables left? Two uh, separate ones, fine? Sure. Come this way. Bag shifts with Chris moving as she follows the waiter. These tables are pretty tall. If men were sitting at it, she'd need a booster seat. <laughs> I'm not that short, you bitch! <laughs> the whole jig is up! Uh, uh, uh. Shit. <laughs> Min's life as a fugitive has ended. At least now that you've blown your cover, you can eat normally with us. Yeah. Min crawls out of the bag and takes a seat with the crush and Noelle and Dia. We can get our... Oh, that's you. That was my only line. It was. I'm sorry. We can get our drinks and food now. <laughs> so the crush reaches for her empty glass. Noelle grabs her arm. Wait, I'll get your water along with mine. You can go ahead and get your food. Thanks. Don't mention it. Do you have a fever or something? You're really docile all of a sudden. I don't have the energy to deal with both you and Mincio at the same time. I'll get you back for this later. I like how getting her water is something you have to get her back for. Dia pauses, then turns to look at Min. The restaurant is noisy enough that she likely didn't catch what Min said, but she heard the, her tone of approval. What? Oh, she misheard. Okay, I gotcha. You like Noelle now? Her face is shining with hope. Min is struck with the conviction that saying no would be a crime punishable by death. She's okay, I guess. Oh, she. I thought. I thought Dia was about to like be like, "Hey, Min, I, I like have a crush on you," but then stopped halfway because she thought Min was having a crush on Noelle now. No, I think that was yeah. too many layers of reading into it. I think it yeah. just meant precisely what was said. I'm sorry. Dia beams at her. The binding, the blinding exposure temporary, temporarily. Lowers Min's IQ by 50 points. Yeah, that was so worth it. Worth. I don't know what anything is. Surely you at least recognize tandoori chicken. You're saying it wrong. Wait, really? Tandoori? Tandoori. The do isn't like indoor. It's like doo-doo head. Tandoori. Oh! I totally have been pronouncing it wrong that entire time. Huh. Yeah, because I, I immediately went to the door pronouncing it. It's Tandoori. Are you five years old? You could have just said, like, the do when due date. Tandoori. Tandoori. I ended up taking a bit of everything. Maybe this will make Dia think I'm cool for trying all of it. The tando Tandoori chicken is too salty. Noelle dumps it on Dia's plate. Tia eagerly stuffs extra food into her mouth. What is she, your garbage disposal? Min jitters her legs so the table's rattling like there's a small earthquake. Stop that. <laughs> the Garsha joins in at the same frequency, so it resonates. Knowledge is power. Garsha sips her water. She's down to about half the glass now. Clearly waiting for this moment to arrive, Noelle smugly flips open her cell phone and shows it to her. Garsha, look at this photo. It's a picture of the bathroom's bathroom stall. In the center of the frame, Noelle's holding a water glass to the toilet. Is that... You filled my cup with toilet water? What do you think? Seriously? Akarsha stands, Noelle's perversely happy look on her face. A child burning ants with a magnifying glass. Seriously now, are you serious? Come on, man. Seriously now, really, are you serious? Come on, man. Now we're even. Ew, ew. I can't believe you, you meanie. My stomach hurts now. You're being overdramatic. The bacteria wouldn't affect it that fast. I'm gonna wash my mouth out. Carsha disappears into the bathroom. Jesus Christ! Hmm. Worried Dia goes after Carsha, leaving Min alone with Noelle at the table. Noelle's in a particularly good mood now. Uh well, that, we we haven't talked to her much. Yeah. Us, man. Was it really toilet water? What? No, of course not. That would have been unsanitary. What kind of person do you think I am? What the fuck? That somehow <laughs> makes it even worse. You lied to her. I never lied. Purposely led her to the wrong conclusion, that's all. Um, it pisses me off to admit it, but you're less boring than I originally thought. I used to think you were the bland, goody two-shoes type, but you're actually this sadistic, manipulative weirdo. I can respect that. Thanks? Sorry I've been a jerk to you. If I'd given you a chance, we might have gotten along. What? J just kidding, I hate you. Noel nods with relief. Good, I hate you too. None of this Disney shit. Right. Aw. Yeah. Friends. They hate each other. 
Min gets up and hovers awkwardly outside the women's restroom. Peering through the open door from the hallway, she can see a Karsha and Dia at the sink. Karsha cups her hand under the running faucet, gargles the tap water, and spits it back out. Oh my god, people pooped in the toilet water, and I drank it. Yeah. This would happen to me. Classic. What did I ever do to deserve this? You tied Noelle's braid to a tree. Besides that, that's so minor. And accidentally dropped a worm we were dissecting down in her shirt. Besides that, that was weeks ago. Yesterday, you picked her up, replied, Okay, and when she demanded you put her down, you threw her into the school swimming pool. And when she screeched, now I'm all wet, you yelled, that's what she said. Besides that, none of these count. Mm -hmm. Such a cruel <laughs> world we live in. Right. <laughs> Dia clearly has no idea what to say. Even though she's mostly just standing there listening, though. Of course, she seems to appreciate her presence. Yeah, it looks like they're doing okay. Min returns to the table. Taking a long time in there. She's not crying, is she? No, she's just being a drama queen like usual. What, you worried? What? No. Just curious. Whatever you say, Satan. Workers are all refilling the iced tea keg now. That looks good. Min fetches a glass of iced tea and returns to the table. What is that? Iced tea. What? Where was it? Min points at the glass keg in the corner of the buffet. Why is it all by itself, away from the other beverages? Uh, maybe they didn't have room by the soda machine? Now that she looks, though, there is room by the soda machine. Shit, you're right. What the hell is this, then? How should I know? Min sniffs it. I can't tell what it is. You try. Noel brings the bowl to her face and inhales. I don't know. Oh, wait, that's you. That was my... I don't know. It doesn't smell like tea. Min pours half of it into another glass and slides it over to Noel. I don't want this. It's a symbol of our not being enemies anymore. I don't even know what it is. Then try it. You try it. What? You scared it'll taste bad? What if it's a condiment or a sauce? It'd be like eating mustard. <laughs> we should just wait for Dia and her cards to come back and ask them. I don't want to be sitting here with matching cups with you. It'll look stupid. You should have thought about that before taking a glass of mystery liquid. I thought I knew what it was. Noel glares down at her glass of orangey yellow liquid. After a long moment, she takes a sip of it. Well, what is it? Spicy, not sweet. It's weird for beverage. I don't <laughs> like it. What are you, racist? I'm not racist. You're like one of those wimps who's afraid of durian. Closed-minded. What's wrong with durian? I'm not. Look, I'll finish it. It's probably an acquired taste like durian. Maybe we can drink it over a glass of the liquid, too. It does taste weird for a drink. I don't like it. But I'm better than her. I'll, I'll never admit it. Grimacing, they continue drinking the mystery liquid in silence. <laughs> hey, you're like a Dia expert, right? More or less. Can I ask for your opinion on something then? Yes. Where would be the best possible place to take Dia on a date? A dog park. I already... I mean, besides a dog park. Then the Harry Potter theme park at Universal Studios. But I don't have the money to... I mean, the budget in this situation is small. In this hypothetical situation. Right, in this hypothetical situation. I'm testing your Dia knowledge. Hmm. Hmm. She also likes eating. Why don't you take her to a dessert place A dessert place instead? There's one she wants to try called Snowcastle. They have shaved ice and boba. It's within walking distance from school. Students often visit it during the lunch hour. Perfect, thanks. I mean, you pass. Because I was testing you. Yep, just as a reminder, I hate you. I'm only helping you to make sure Dia doesn't have a terrible time. Yeah, of course, I hate you too. Karsh and Dia have returned from the bathroom. Karsh's eyes widen as she sees Min gulp another mouthful of the mystery <laughs> liquid. <gasps> Are you guys drinking Pani? Dia, look, they're drinking Pani. <gasps> what? What's Pani? You're supposed to use it to fill Puri, the fried dough ball things. You don't drink it all by itself. No, oh, glares at Min. <laughs> Told you it wasn't a beverage, I was right. Don't pin it on me. You drank it all on your own. <laughs> Do you guys squirt ketchup directly into your mouths, too? Shut up. Ketchup, man. Both Dia and Akarsh are gleef gleefully taking out their phones. <laughs> Don't take photos! Look what I got. It's a photo of Blurred scowling no Noelle trying to shove the shameful cup away from her. <gasps> Send it to me. You're never gonna let us live this down, are you? You guessed it, ketchup <laughs> man, too. Whatever, pea girl. <laughs> Noelle storms up to the buff area to escape Akarsha's photos. Akarsha gets up and chases after her. Noelle's making things even worse. There's gonna be action shots of her running around the salad bar now. And of her tripping. Huh? But she hasn't tripped. This is a fun cue. Noelle stumbles over nothing and trips. Hey, this isn't a jungle gym. Hmm. Wow, you're good. We're alone at the table now. Here's my chance to ask her out. We should go out and eat sometime. We're... Already eating right now? I mean some other time. Just the two of us. Nailed it. Got it in one. <laughs> the next day. 
Snow castle. Yeah. Yeah! We're here on a date. It's lunchtime at school right now. We ate really fast and sprinted here. How much time do we have? About 30 minutes before we gotta run back to campus. Thanks for bringing me here. I've always wanted to try their shaved ice. I'm the one who should be thankful. Don't mention it. Min receives a chat message. She quickly checks her phone. I have prepared a Dia cheese sheet for your reference. Top desserts, drinks, Dia likes. Any food artificially colored to look blue. The flavor is irrelevant. E.g. blueberry, raspberry, blue raspberry, Baja Blast, etc. Dia cannot tell the difference and will refer to it as blue <laughs> flavor. <laughs> peanut butter. She is neutral, neutral towards actual peanuts. Mango. Food with a circle in the center. E.g. bagels, bunt cakes, peach gummy rings. If you are in a situation where multiple food items have these features, e.g. both a blue colored cake and a mango mousse cake are available, the hierarchy is as follows. <laughs> blue flavor. Peanut butter. Mango. Circle in the center. Suggested conversation topics. Owl City. Dogs who have different colored flavor bubs are on so it looks like they have eyebrows. <laughs> Most extreme animal planet series. Okay. I'll take two if I run into trouble. Understood. <laughs> <laughs> Min and Dia take their place in line and gaze up at the menu. These shaved ice desserts look massive. Maybe we can share one. Dia nods eagerly. It's on purpose. They're made for couples to eat together. We're sharing one. <laughs> it's Dia and Min's turn in line now. Welcome to Snow Castle. Can I take your order? Dia looks anxiously at Min. Min's heart skips a beat, seeing the helplessness in her eyes. She's relying on me. I've got you. We'll have the Mount Fuji. That one is blue. <laughs> that one is blue. One Mount Fuji coming right up. Dia and Min find a table and wait for their order. I'll pay you back. No, it's on me. Don't worry about it. I still have the money from the mall fountain. <laughs> Thanks. You're welcome. I'd kill someone if you asked me to. I'm pretty sure you'd kill someone even if I didn't ask you to. The orders are being prepared on the counter, and employees do drizzling syrup atop another customer's mountain of shaved ice. Hey, we can watch him making it. Don't want to see. Food tastes better if you don't know what's in it. That way it's like magic. Huh. Never thought of it like that. Do you know how to cook? I can make microwave popcorn. That's not cooking. What? Can you cook? Not really. Once I tried to make a pancake when I was nine, but it burned to a total crisp like a rock. Couldn't even scrape it out of the pan. I'm so embarrassed that I just dug a big hole in the backyard. <laughs> <laughs> oh no! They dug a big hole in the backyard and buried it. Including the pan? I was desperate. Didn't know what else to do. That's so cute. Like a little puppy. Are you making fun of me? No, it's a good thing. You're so cute sometimes that I almost can't stand it. I have to go to the bathroom. Dia staggers to her feet and makes for the restroom. She moves to the door and slams straight into the wall. Dia! Min rushes to her side as she staggers back and grabs a hold of her, worried she might fall. What's wrong? Are you hurt? Dia just shakes her head face red. She seems to be struggling with the limits of spoken language. You sure? Dia nods frantically. Min tentatively lets her go. She watches Dia scramble into the restroom, correctly this time. As Min returns to the table, her phone screen lights up with a message. I'm so fucking fun. The way you grabbed her, I thought you were going to start dry humping her in the middle of the restaurant. <laughs> oh no, really? Akarsha, I'm convinced those sunglasses are actually impeding your mental processes. I'm embarrassed to be seen with you. <laughs> well, I can't take them off. My cover will be blown. <laughs> Should have chosen a better disguise in the first place then. What? Turn around. <laughs> <laughs> Hmm. <laughs> Wait, were those the same sunglasses from the Imagine Spot earlier? I think they were. I think they were. What the fuck? Dia's been texting me for advice on you. That's why she went to the bathroom. <laughs> what? Honestly, I'm annoyed she goes to you and not me. Why would she go to you? You never talk about feelings and gay stuff. Also, I have master seduction skills. <laughs> what master seduction skills? My tactics. You're so knowledgeable on these matters, why are you single? Excuse you, I'm single because I want to be? Some people like being sad and alone. On purpose. On purpose. Right, on purpose. Not because no one ever likes me back or anything. <laughs> Don't attack me like this, what the fuck? Wait guys, hold on. How long has this been going on? Was the holding of the buffet a setup? When you two left the table? Take a wild guess, Sherlock. You know, no, I'm starting to realize you do have a sense of humor, but you're so emotionally constipated that your style of humor is just being extremely mean. OMG, wait. Do you and Noelle get along now? We don't get along. But we used to not get along much worse. Dia returns to the table. Are you feeling better? Dia nods sheepishly, then stiffens up in fear as a waitress approaches the, with their dessert on a tray. One Mount Fuji? 
Dia responds with frenzied nodding as the waitress slides at the dessert onto the table. Oh. It's a mound of shaved ice, sculpted and saturated with blue raspberry syrup and condensed milk to look like a mountain. <gasps> blue flavor! The blue flavor looks good. Noel was spot on. What are the pink things? It's mochi. They're supposed to look like cherry blossoms. Min stabs her spoon into the shaved ice and shovels it into her mouth. Shaved ice is so cold that her gums are growing numb. I think I'm getting brain freeze. Me too. A drop of cream is trickling down Dia's finger. She quickly licks it clean before it can reach her palm. Min is so focused watching, she doesn't realize her own mouth is hanging open until she feels the trail of spit about to drop down from it. Min accidentally drew it onto the table. <laughs> Fuck, shit! <laughs> Dia is staring determinedly into the Mount Fuji. She's probably pretending not to have seen. Help me. Pretend to drown so she has to give you mouth to mouth. What the fuck kind of plan is that? What would I even be drowning on? The shaved ice. No. The toilet. No. Trust me. I'm a love expert. There's no way this could possibly go wrong. Rather than potentially causing confusion like that, why don't you just be open and tell her how you feel? You're the last person on the planet qualified to tell me to be open. I don't know what you're talking about. I'm perfectly open about my feelings. Since when? Hey, Frenchman, you enjoy our company, right? I'm not sure how you deluded yourself into believing that. See? Lamau proved us right. You can't even argue it. She's <laughs> trapped. She hates being wrong, but can't admit she likes us. I like you. <gasps> However, you're immature and relentlessly annoying. Everything about you fills me with indescribable rage, from the way you wear a windbreaker with flip-flops, to your idiotic-looking hairstyle, to how you're smart yet do things like call food. <laughs> <laughs> Four great. Food, food, food rakes. rakes. Holy shit, how have I never thought of that? Food rakes. Food rakes. Wait, what does that make these? Food saws? Maybe. We'll ponder it. Well, uh, uh, why do you still have the knives here? No, put them back down. You don't use knives for shaved ice. And Min, you're volatile and stupid. I already tolerate. I hard, already <laughs> hardly tolerate you. So if you hurt Tia in any way, I won't hesitate to destroy you. Why do you have to immediately drag us to defuse the situation? Baby steps, Frenchman. Very good. Shut up. Now that I'm right, as always, about being open, Min has no valid excuse. What if Dia rejects me? Then that's her own personal problem for having bad taste. Her loss, not yours. What should I say? Let me think. Shit, bitch, you is fine. What the hell? No! Hey, girl, rat piss. What? <laughs> <laughs> rat piss, a code name for said nudes. Uh, hey girl, rat piss. <laughs> Who the fuck would say that? <laughs> Do it. Hey girl, rat piss. No! If you don't make a move within the next five minutes, I'm a belt the crazy frog song and ruin your whole day. I've practiced. Unfortunately, <laughs> I can confirm that she's practiced. Okay, I can do this. My mouth is so cold. Let me warm the- <laughs> Oh, that is the line! <laughs> Want me to warm it up for you? Dia freezes. Oh my god, I fucked up, I fucked up. Dia gives her a nervous, very small nod. What? Do it! Min crawls under the table on all fours with a loud clatter. Dia gasps as Min cups her face in her palms and catches her lips with hers. Her mouth is cold as advertised and blue flavor. Dia doesn't push her away, but, instead she but she doesn't kiss back either. Man can feel her trembling in her arms like a frightened rabbit. Anxious Min pulls back over the sounds of a car shuttle whooping and yodeling in the background. <laughs> Dia's clinging desperately to Min's jacket sleeves, a vivid blush coloring her cheeks. Is this good? Dia frankly nods in response, looking embarrassed. I don't know what to do. I've never done this before. Me neither, but don't worry. I looked it up on Yahoo Answers. Unless you want to start smaller. I... I want to hold hands with you and cuddle. We can do that. Min takes Dia's hand. I'm happy you kissed me. I like you a lot. Me too. Min lightly brushes Dia's lips with her thumb. Dia shivers at the touch as Min gently pulls her closer. Do you like this? Dia nods, then closes her eyes and leans in. She nuzzles against Min, peppering her cheek with soft little kisses. Oh my god, Dia is kissing me. The table, it's... Noel stands up and is approaching them. What the fuck? Go away, Noel. You think I want to be here watching this disgusting display? The table is... A leg at the table gives way under Min's weight. <laughs> <laughs> I can't believe we're banned from Snow Castle now. I can't believe men broke their table. No choice. You could have held off on making out for 10 seconds and walked around it. Like I said, no choice. That was even better than you guys drinking pant pani at the buffet. Shut up. Yeah, shut your fuck up. <laughs> shut you nut. Shut your fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> I hate you all. I'm going home. 
Okay, see you at practice tomorrow. No, wait, stay. Change my mind, then. You have approximately ten seconds. Friendship is like peeing on yourself. Everyone can see it, but only you get the warm feeling it brings. <laughs> what the fuck? Hmm. Goodbye. <laughs> <laughs> no! What were you expecting after that, you nasty freak ho? Pee girl again? <gasps> Meanie. You... you dung elf. <laughs> what? Everything about this game is so good. I love it. <laughs> you know how during metamorphosis inside the chrysalis, the caterpillar turns into soup? It melts into this disgusting muddled goo inside. Everyone is a mess when they're growing up. Some people are just better hiding it than others. It's okay to be a flaming dumpster fire. It's okay if you're not what your parents wanted you to be. It's okay to change your mind. If you want to be a butterfly, you have to be butterfly soup. For oh, there it is. Yay. I get it. Yay. I understand. They brought the metaphor back in at the... I, I get Yay. it. Yay. Think about it like that. We're all doing pretty good right now. We just don't know it yet. Just keep on going. Keep trying and eventually you'll find people who like you for the weird fuck up that you are. You deserve to be happy, so don't give up. I won't give up if you don't give up. And if an alligator attacks you, go for the eyes. What? That's what I told Min last time she's at that line. The not giving up. I have trivia like that too. If you're walking on the sidewalk and see a car coming toward you, instead of moving forward or backwards, go directly left or right toward the nearest obstacle you see. Why left or right? I don't get it. There's normally too little time to judge the car's direction. Moving directly perpendicular to how you're facing is your best bet. I was looking up how to survive if a car drives into you as a pedestrian. I already told you, I'll just hit the car out of the way. This turned into a random advice session. End this conversation, otherwise we'll be standing here forever. Okay, I'm ending it now. Bye. 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 I'm dying. <laughs> This game is so good. Holy shit, I can't believe how good this game is. How did we sleep on this I for don't two know. fucking years? I don't know. But thank you so the fuck much to our patrons for picking this. Because holy Hell shit. Hell yeah. I am so happy we played this amazing good game. I Very wasn't excellent. intending to record for this long, but at a certain point I just couldn't stop. Yeah. Sorry. I'm sorry. Eh. It's now fuck all in the morning. It's okay. I only need to be up in like seven hours. If it helps, I only need to be up in seven hours too. Sweet. Oh, we got special thanks. Yeah. Yeah. I kind of miss high school too. I. Cause I never. Well, I'm like I miss the opportunities that high school brought. <gasps> the future. The future. There's more. So which one do you want? Wait. Oh, I thought they were looking at jail cells for a second. No. <laughs> Don't know. Which dog friend do you want, Shibe? Hearing his name, Shibe turns brightly to Dia, tongue lolling out. His frog raincoat make, makes a crinkling sound against Min's arms as he rags his tail. He's too nice. He likes all of them. He appears down at Pomeranian in the enclosure. <gasps> this one reminds me of you. How? Small, but thinks he's invincible. Hey. It's a charm point. I love you for it. <whistles> Dia picks up the little Pomeranian and gazes up into her black soulless <laughs> eyes. Your name is Pom. You will someday get Wi-Fi. <laughs> Hell yeah. <laughs> Oh my god! Oh, I can't believe that even the palm thing came back. Oh my god! Good I game. Love it. Oh my god! And again, thank you to the people who suggested we play Brianna Lay games because, holy shit, that was amazing! Oh my god, I love this so I'm much. I'm very happy. I'm too happy. You can't see the dumb smile on my face, but I love it. I'm gonna cuddle you now. Is that all right? Okay. Aww. Bye, everyone. Bye.